Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everyone. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that little, uh, that little fun thing. I had a little fun putting that together before the stream today. Analog horror. Welcome, one and all, to Fibrous Farm. Who uses the word fibrous? That's apparently me, I guess. But uh, <laughs> that scared me so much. I'm so sorry. So sorry to anyone who got jump scared by uh, by that transition there. You like the fiber counter? Thank you. I put it together in approximately 20 minutes. Well, probably less than that, honestly. It probably took like 10 minutes. But <laughs> so it's kind. It's a little. It's a little scuffed, but it still it still works. So. Hope everyone's having a great day, though. I know I certainly am. Except for the fact that uh, YouTube was telling... Oh, no, it's fine. It was telling me no data for a second, but it was still giving me green. So, I mean... I mean, we're going to be seeing a lot of green in our future, so I guess I should get used to that, right? Just just all the green. How long until the living hat? Remazubi asking the real questions. I mean... There's a pretty significant chance, depending on how much fiber we end up getting and like the kind of goals that I set for myself, there, there, I might not get the living hat. It's, it's a distinct possibility. I don't want to set false expectations, but you know, living hat day one would be pretty pog. I can't deny that. Something tells me it's not going to happen though. This is a stupid challenge, by the way. I don't recommend anyone do this. I honestly was not even sure that I wanted to like do this on stream or or in any capacity because it's going to be just a lot of chopping fiber. But I think, I mean, I've, I've demonstrated that I can do sort of, you know, banter style commentary and have a sort of podcast general soothing vibe. So even if it's a lot of the same stuff happening in the game, I think, I, I think we'll still have fun here. And we'll set, I'll, I mean... As, as the madness sets in from slashing fiber, I think it's going to... I think we'll start developing our own little quirky goals on the side. And I think we're just... I mean, I'm, we're going to have a fun time with it. I don't... I haven't done nearly as much like research into this because... Like, with the Price of Perfection, there was a lot of research. There were a lot of moving pieces. This one's just like chop fiber forehead. I mean, we can like we can expand on that a little bit. You can get like fiber seeds and and all that good stuff. But I digress. The fiber memes are coming. I mean, they've already started to come as soon as that uh, as soon as I posted that community post. I'm pretty sure 999 Stardew said something about touching grass. We're touching grass today, y'all. We're we're absolutely touching grass. I'll need to get a fiber emote in here at some point. All the fiber, a living hat emote, Chloe with the living hat on or something. Either way, super happy to be here and happy to see familiar faces in and about. Karita Hearts, just Lisa. We got, uh, who else we got in here? Gray Cheesy Egg Sandwich, purple. Van Xbox Autumn, I recognize you. Colleen, hello. Cobalt Cryptid. Byron, what's grass? Alexandra. New, and if, I mean, if this is your first stream too, also welcome. You have to be a certain kind of person to see, like, Stardew Valley, but I can only sell fiber and click on it with, a, and with, the, with like, I mean, if it was, like, just a video and it was, like, you know, a, quirk, a little 10-minute fun video or something, then sure. But if it's a stream and we're actually, like, we're actually doing this. This is not a joke. This is not a drill. We're... Cut, we're chopping fiber today, and ain't nobody gonna stop me. How would the vault work? Would you just plant a ton of fiber seeds? Yeah, basically. <laughs> I mean, we have to get fiber seeds is the first thing. You don't, you're, you can't just like go buy fiber seeds. You can't uh, get the buy the crafting recipe either. You get the crafting recipe by uh, doing the community cleanup request on the uh, on like the board in town, which doesn't isn't available until fall. So. Either way, I think we should get into it now. I don't have any new, new fan art to share with you today, which is, you know, honestly, it's it's fitting. I didn't really have any share, fan art to share at the start of uh, the Price of Perfection either. Actually, I might have. I might have. I might have shared some in the first stream. I don't fully remember, but let's get into this, shall we? Let's get in to Stardew Valley Fibrous Farm Edition. Here we go. Let me bring you over and let me 
pause the music right now. We're going to go in, in game music for a little bit. It's a bit of a throwback to how, how I did Price of Perfection back in the day with the in game music and everything. Do I think I'll get the fiber hat in year one? Almost certainly no. <laughs> All right, new save. Let's load it in. All right, first things first, we gotta get our we gotta get our girl. Get Chloe in here. I did have the I do have like the default farmer mod that like lets me save farmers. Should I have a different outfit for Chloe, or should we just go default like like her usual shirt like this, her usual tunic? Chloe. This one's going to be Fibrous Farm. Favorite thing, we'll come back to that in a second. Probably skip intro on this one. Different outfit, but still green. We could mess around with the outfit for a little bit. I'm not opposed to that at all. I think a new new drip for the occasion could be fun for sure. A fun way to spice things up. Air color's going to be 92 or 91. Good enough. I think like 58, 59, and 18. So got these numbers internalized now. Uh, the pants don't matter as much. We don't have a set color of pants. Give her green pants. Favorite thing, of course, should be fiber. I mean, probably. What if it's just, like, grass? All types of fiber. Not just specifically fiber the item, but all variants of fiber. It's, it's just, you know, grass. Grass is her favorite. Need green pants? Okay. We can do green pants. It's just <laughs> a little too, little too strong leprechaun vibes. They're after me lucky charms. Shalom, Noel. Welcome, welcome. All right. Uh, green skirt. I like the green skirt idea better. Do we go like, like this kind of skirt here? I kind of feel like we need a different shirt. I feel like a like more. That's kind of a nice shirt. What else do we got? I'm looking for, I mean, green vibes. That's a little too mundane for my liking. Mm, that's not bad. Rate the fit. Zero out of ten. Or zero to ten. In the meantime, let's go ahead and uh, let's just keep looking at some of these shirts. I haven't scoured these shirts. There's a, there's a little mousy shirt. That's so cute. Yo, I kind of like this one. Four, two, nine, six, eight. I kind of like the overalls here. Hold on. If we go like pants, and then we try to like match that. If we go if, like a like somewhere somewhere there, yo, she's a fiber farmer. Is this is is this farmer chic? Something we can get on board with? I think I just bumped my micro my, my microphone. By the way, it's it's all <laughs> she's Luigi. <laughs> Wahoo! Oh, 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 oh. That's my Luigi. You like the skirt better? We got we got shorts. We could go shorts. Oh, we also have long skirt or short skirt. I don't know if the sh if the skirt matches the overalls. I've never seen like an overalls that end in a skirt. Does such a thing exist? It will take one look at us and gag. <laughs> long skirt, skirt. Yes, they do. It does exist. All right, we'll go. We'll go with the skirt. We'll go with the skirt overalls, and uh, I'm just. I mean, we can always change it once we get access to the sewing machine and everything. If we if we end up not loving this, but I kind of like it right now, honestly. Something about it speaks to me. All right, um, Tim Beeb's there. We're good to go. Farm layout. I was personally thinking beach farm. I know. Look, I know we did a whole series. Price of Perfection was all the beach farm. And I'm not just picking Beach Farm because I have a weird Stockholm Syndrome thing with the Beach Farm. I think the Beach Farm is honestly the best way to go for this one. There's so much space. Um, fiber seeds you don't need to to water. So the fact that you don't need to water things on, that you can't water or that you can't use sprinklers on the Beach Farm is kind of a non-issue. Wilderness for fiber. I also thought about wilderness. I feel like it's got to be wilderness or beach. Beach Farm, best farm. I'm gonna put it up put that one up to a poll. Because I could see it going either way. Which farm layout? Forest layout could be fun too, but I just don't think there's enough room. I need we need room, we need ample room to grow fiber seeds, is the problem. And I think wilderness and beach both have a substantial amount of farmland. So let's go wilderness or beach farm. If it goes beach farm, I will turn on monster spawning as well, because wilderness golems can drop fiber, and we need every out that we can get. So here we go. You can't hear me? How about now? 
I didn't change anything, but <laughs> how about now? Beach has the most space. Yeah, Beach has like 2,700 something uh, tillable tiles. At any rate, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go in here. Normal community center bundles, I sleep. We go remixed all day, every day. Uh, mine rewards, we'll also remix those, because why not? Monster spawning on the farm. Here is where it gets a little spicy, right? Here's where you can get spicy with it. Profit margin, 25%. It literally does not affect anything, basically. It, I mean, it affects how much seeds cost at Pierre's, which is nice because we won't be having, like, like, it'll be nice to have cheaper seeds. It's not going to make a huge difference, I don't think, because I don't know how many crops are going to be growing. But the profit margin, fiber sells for one gold. With a 25% profit margin, it still sells for one gold. It does not round down to zero. Trust me, I tested it. It works fine. Yo, Cinder Tatsu, thank you for the $5 super chat. So excited for a new farm. Can't wait to see what lore's created. That's the best part, honestly. A sight to behold. It is a dead even pull, by the way. 50. The beach farm is winning by 51%. 51% to 49% for the, for the wilderness farm. That is an uncomfortably small majority. No random seed. We don't, uh, we don't need to worry about that. There's no finicky rules to play by here. Beach farm at 53%. I mean, wilderness farm is honestly... Like, it could be a nice change of scenery, but the beach farm is so good and so big, and, I mean, there's, there's so much good stuff going on in the beach farm. Wilderness farm is just kind of like a plot of land. Wilderness house comes with a tiny Krobus. All right, plus one to the wilderness farm. I did the math, and unless I really messed up, I think you need on average 53,125 fiber since you need mixed seeds to craft fiber seeds. Yeah, that's the problem. Crafting fiber seeds, you know what, chat? You're going to love it because I know the Sardi Valley community and their memes. To craft fiber seeds, you need three core ingredients. You need mixed seeds, you need clay, and you need sap. We're going to need to farm sap to farm fiber. Can you believe it? It's final. The prophecy has finally come true. Sap actually matters in this challenge. <laughs> it's sa the sap really. It, it means we can't eat the sap. I'll tell you that right now. We're not eating the sap because every piece of sap that we eat goes against our goal. So, all the meme items. <laughs> no eating the sap. All right, it's it's very barely the poll is very barely leaning towards the beach farm. Oh gosh, it's so close. 84 votes cast. 49% for wilderness, 51% for beach. This is this is the man. I didn't realize. Oh, it's it's gone 49% beach, 51% wilderness now. I could, like, literally flip a coin or something at this point. It would it, basically be no different. The wilderness, wilderness stands are rising up. They're coming out of the woodwork. Wilderness, wilderness farm is now winning by 53%. All right, chat, I'm going to give it one more minute. I'm going to give it... Ex I'm going to... Hold on. I'm going to put a timer on my phone. Putting a timer on my phone so you won't be able to see the timer. But that's okay. It's going to be a st 60 seconds... You got. You have one minute to get your votes in here, and wherever it lies, whenever whenever this timer goes off, you'll hear it. Wherever it lies, even if it's a one percent differential, that's the farm we're going with. So, make your vote count now. Chop chop. This is the only chance you get. This is a this is a run defining choice. This is a run defining choice. Wilderness farm or beach farm. Wilderness or beach. They both have ample amounts of space for farm and farming and fun activities. They both have, uh, they both will have monster spawning because wilderness is just naturally there, but we can also just turn it on for the beach farm. Um, beach farm has, you know, that beachy aesthetic that we're so used to. We've come to know and love over the price of perfection. Wilderness farm is a nice breath of fresh air, maybe. Get your votes in now. Wilderness farm is still leading by a little bit. You got 13 seconds. You have 13 seconds. The be beach farm lovers, you got to rise up real quick, real quick, real quack, excuse me. Four seconds, by the way. That's the timer. That's the timer. Stop, stop it. Get out of here. All right, time time is up. Wilderness Farm has won by a very slim majority. 54% to 46%. Actually, 53% at the end of the day to 46%. Where'd the 1% go? Who knows? 
But either way, we're going with the wilderness farm. Flip a coin, please. Found the beach, found the beach fan in chat. All right, well, one of the beach fans. Let's go ahead and change that to wilderness farm then. There's plenty of good land here, but beware at night, the monsters come out, dot, dot, dot. Monsters spawn on the farm. You love to see it. All right, I think we're good to go, right? Without further ado, it's fiber time. Here we are. All right, I want to make sure that music is actually turned on here. Music is on. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. We got 15 parsnip seeds. Every little, like, boon that I can get here is going to be so helpful. Because uh, the only thing, like, I can only buy things. I can buy anything I want. You know, that's the nice thing is that we're not restricted that way. There's a little mini Krobus, by the way. Turn on the turn on the fireplace. That's a must, as far as I'm concerned. Chat, are you ready? Are you ready? First fiber? First fiber? Can I get FF in chat? First fiber? Here we go. Three, two, one. I only got one piece of fiber out of that, but that's enough. All right, we're chopping fiber, baby. This is this is our income. This is this is my life. It's now or never. I ain't gonna live forever, but as long as I do live, I'm gonna be chopping fiber. Oh my gosh. Quality of life question. Um, does the golden scythe make it more likely that these weeds drop fiber, yes or no? I know it makes it more likely that you get hay from, uh, from like this tall grass down here if you have a silo. That much I do know, but I don't know about, um, ooh, mixed seeds also gonna be very valuable in the, in the future. But I don't know about um, if they affect the weed chances here. Clip it. Yes, no, yes, yes, no. I think yes. I mean, either way, whether it does or not, you know we gotta go for the golden scythe. That's gonna be one of our one of our starting goals for sure. Golden scythe has gotta be up there, so we have to unlock the quarry in order to do that. Which should be relatively easy, right? Which one unlocks the quarry? Which is the bridge? Is that the crafts room? Because pantry is greenhouse, boiler room is minecarts. Um, yeah, I think it's got its crafts room, right? Oh, blade is blade in here? <laughs> I don't think I saw it. Did it did blade drop in? No clue. Let's ask blade. I see that. I see you. I see you. Crafts room is bridge. Yeah, that's what I thought. So the br the bridge that leads to the quarry. Leave some fiber to regrow. Here's the thing, we're not going to be chopping most of our fiber on the farm, at least until we get fiber seeds. So I'm getting all the fiber that I can right now, right off the right off the bat from the farm. Let's also start chopping some trees. No animation canceling, by the way. This is not a uh, this is not a speed run, as you might have guessed. I mean, I should probably get some get enough wood for a chest would be nice to start off. Listen to Jay Nuggets. At least some fiber to regrow. I don't think it's necessary. I think, honestly, the fi the main source of fiber is going to be in the mines. That's what, That was a lot of butterflies out of that tree, for the record. You're not wrong. I think, like, floors... Like, floor 20-ish of the mines is going to be our main fiber... Uh, is going to be our main fiber stronghold. You're with Jay Nuggets on this one? Thumbs up in chat to leave some fiber on this farm so that it can, like, regrow and stuff. Thumbs down if that's if that's not necessary. Th is this is this is the we're gonna leave this as the lone fiber, the single piece of fiber to stand against the, to stand the test of time. This one weed right here. Let me actually you know let's get the tree out of the way. Thumbs up. A lot, I'm seeing a lot of thumbs ups and some cheese as well. All right. This one, this one piece of fiber here, I have decided you are my king right now. We're gonna get me eight piece, eight fences. We're protecting this one. This is I don't I don't know why this this piece of fiber speaks to me. Okay, protect that one at all costs. If I get anywhere near that with a scythe, you gotta send off a red alert, chat. You gotta sign off red alert if I'm like walking near it and I'm like walking like this with the with my with scythe selected, which will probably be most of the time because 
what else am I going to select? The Soul Survivor Fiber. I think there's still a bunch of fiber like down south of the farm. We can probably leave some down there for sure. A little bit of coal, that's not bad. Let me go ahead and make my chest, because I do have enough for that right now, so I might as well get that done. Put it in my favorite spot. Go ahead and, um... I mean, fiber... I don't think we sell the fiber right away. I think we go ahead and wait on the fiber and we'll get, like, a big, a big payday. Can I scythe through the fence? You absolutely can scythe through the fence. I'm pretty... I'm, like, 90% confident on that. All right, we're going to go ahead and plant some parsnips as well. Because we can... Like, this is weird, right? Growing crops is not going to be profitable at all. The only reason to grow crops is, like, for food and for the community center, I guess. That's also one thing I didn't decide yet. I know in the description and stuff, it says that I'm... And, like, in the title and everything, I think. It talks about completing the community center. We could go Jojo route. We could go with the Jojo route. Please, please chill with the spam. Please chill with the e-spam. Thank you very much. Like, there's definitely, there's definitely a precedent to going with the Joja route, because it costs so much more money, which is so much more fiber that we need. And there's something compelling about a story of a lowly worker. Alright, we're going to leave all the fiber in this section over here, just so to test the, to test chat's theory. Grandpa's shrine will be the, will be the fiber farm for right now. Evil Joja, Jojo would be even worse. Jojo, Jojo would just be a money grind. It's true. But at the end of the day, it's, I mean, <laughs> it's going to be a money grind either way. It's just whether or not you get to... Uh, it's whether or not you have to grind like 40,000-ish for the community center. Or like 140,000 is for Jojo. Which, you know, just saying it out loud makes me think, you know, it's probably a bad idea. But part of me kind of kind of wants to. Part of me is going down that bad choice road like Kim Wexler. At any rate, let's we're basically out of energy now, so I'm just going to go ahead and choppy chop my fiber. I guess I should like leave this grass or leave some of this grass anyway cuz I can get animals. And I probably will get animals in this challenge cuz I'm going to need like the products for the community center, right? Unless I go traveling cart for those. I kind of want to put like a like a ban on the traveling cart though. There's been so much traveling cart in the other challenge runs that I feel like the traveling cart in this run, where it's not explicitly required, should just be an outright ban. The traveling merchant has done very well for us, but I don't know if we if we need her. Coal, we'll see. I mean, we'll see how we feel. I'm gonna. It's literally day one, spring one. We're gonna we're gonna test the waters of this challenge and see how we feel going forward. I'm not gonna put a pole of, like of that caliber up just yet, but. I appreciate the gumption. Boycott the cart. You're hungry and you want to make pasta? I mean, you can... I'm, presumably, you can just, like, turn up the... Crank the volume and go to your kitchen and make some pasta. It depends how far away your kitchen is, I guess, but... It is a tough decision. Right now, I mean, you don't have anything to concern yourself with. We're chopping fiber. And by the time you get back, guess what we'll be doing? We'll probably be chopping fiber. No pig lady. I've never heard her called pig lady before. By the way, chat, you gotta let me know on the... Like, over the past couple weeks of streams, we have had some issues with buffering and drop frames and all that stuff. Um, you're gonna have to give me updates if that, hap if that continues to happen. I really don't think it should anymore. I, you should have seen me yesterday, chat. Oh my god. I was pulling out every possible stop. I like... I was... I was going nuts trying to figure out why my stream was dropping frames and buffering so much. It was going... I was going absolutely crazy. I was like, taking apart my computer. I was like, changing out ethernet cords all over the place. I tried my old computer to see if that's still the problems. I tried like, updating the software. I tried like, turn... like... Like backing, going through a different version of Windows. I was going in. 
eventually I caved and just I called my internet for provider, which is like, ew, you gotta talk to people. No. Human interaction. What the heck? And they did their thing. They like did like a factory reset on my modem. We were go we were going nuts. And they sent a person out today. Literally he left half an hour before the stream started. And I have a new modem and and all that good stuff now, so We'll see if that makes things better. That's literally the only thing I can think that it would be, so. Sorry, we were joking about the lag the whole time. I mean, I was mostly seeing it on my end. Like, I was seeing, like, 15% dropped frames every ch every stream, which was not great. Especially because most of my streams have, like, 0% drop frames. All right. Um, Good-looking amount of fiber so far. That's 133 gold in the bank. <laughs> <laughs> That's 133 gold in the bank. Am am I on Rogers? No, I'm a, I'm a I'm a Shaw. I am a Shaw customer. I don't really have a preference one way or the other. I've just you know I've always had Shaw throughout my childhood and my like familial life. So that's what I defaulted to when I moved out. Desert is skippable if you go tree tapper route. Are we talking about uh, community center? I did. I turned on remix bundles, so we'll see what kind of scary remix bundles we get because there are some nasty ones for sure. Is that a Canada thing? I don't know. Shaw might be Canada, yeah. Quick cactus fruit. Hello, Haley. I mean, I got. I gotta do it. I gotta. It's, she's got to be the first one we meet. You're that new farmer girl or whatever, aren't you? She's pretending like she doesn't know us. Exclamation point Haley, though, for the truth. Spending the in spend the initial 500 on sap and eat it all. I mean, that does bring up an interesting point. Like, money that I get outside of fiber, like from completing quests or I, that I get in the mail or whatever, I think we have to, I think we have to agree to spend that on other things. I don't think I should be allowed to spend any of that on anything productive. I'll just go buy, like, a bunch of Joja Cola or something. Only fiber. All fiber, every fiber, all day, every day. So is there anything I can do early on here to, like, set up for the future, is, is my question right now. Like, the main first goal, I think, should be getting to the, like, 20-ish floors of the mines. Maybe even just, like, completing the mines, just, like, get that out of the way outright. So that I can, uh... I don't think there's anything else I really need to do right now. I can I could go looking around for forage, but I might as well wait later in the week anyway. Hello, Zombo. Haley's on a spring diet, by the way. I did see that. Alright, little forage. That's not bad. Some dandelions. I'll take it. I think we just go to bed. Yeah, grab forageable, forageables for food and spring onions. You know what? Spring onions is actually a good shout out. Because spring onions do respawn literally every day. I've never g really gone out of my way to get spring onions. But maybe I can change that for the better. Oh, oh, wilderness golem. Living hat. Give it to me. You have a 1 in 10,000 chance of dropping it. Otherwise, just give me more fiber. I forgot that there were monsters on the farm. It kind of spooked me. I'm not going to lie. Get scythed, you fool. Look at how- man, that was such a productive kill. Maybe that's what we do when it gets night like this. We just go out and stand on the farm and wait for wilderness golems to swarm in. What a life. I'm so sorry, Chloe. I, I mean, she's just been so, through so many different challenges now, and this might be the worst one of all. Hey there, Meg. Hope all, hope all is well. Welcome. Happy to see you. Little dandelion, don't mind if I do. Skip to my loo with the dandelion. Boo, no spring onions. Doing a challenge where you can't leave your farm and you were so annoyed at the monsters on your farm not giving combat XP. It is a weird quirk of the system. Like, you would think they would give combat XP, but I guess, you know... You, d you don't... Because they're coming from your farm, you're so well-versed in dealing with them that uh, you can't possibly gain any additional experience of the combat nature. I don't know what the what the lore is there. Hello, slime. 
It looks like a blue slime, but I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's a green slime. Get out of here, stinky. We don't care about bats or anything right now. It's mainly wilderness golems that I'll kill if I see them, case in point. Especially because I only have a scythe right now, so it's a little hard to kill anything. I know the golden scythe does more damage, that'll be nice. But I mean, I can also just get another weapon, there's nothing stopping me from doing that. Hey, I got some fiber, how about that? Alright, we're going to bed. Fiber seeds? Fiber seeds will be the way forward eventually, for sure. You don't you don't need to worry about spamming it there, Uber. Or Uber Tortuga. Level 1 foraging, by the way, not bad. Yeah, fiber seeds will be the way to go, but I don't want to, like, bull rush to the fiber seeds. I want us to appreciate the fiber seeds when they come. So we need to build up a, uh... We need to build up an appreciation for the... You know, modest lifestyle that we have here. A little six fiber there, by the way. Get get out of here. How do you chop down six pieces of grass and get one fiber? I think that's rigged. Finally, someone pronounces my name correctly. I'm pretty good about pronouncing names correctly. I'm a, I've got a pretty good track record. Fish for a weapon. Yo, we have access to fishing today. It literally doesn't really help that much at all because we can't sell the fish. But I can fish for, like, treasure and stuff to try and get a weapon or something. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Fish. Yeah, I think once fiber seeds are available to me, it's going to be so nice, and we're going to not ever look back. Here's, here's the downside, though. It, the fiber seeds, they're great, right? They'll be good for growing lots and lots and lots of fiber. But you cannot get a living hat from fiber that you can, which is I mean we need to get the living hat at some point it's kind of the whole conceit of this farm right now is fiber and that's kind of the that's kind of fibers only real draw is the potential to get a living hat so I need to get that at some point if I can get it before I get fiber seeds then that's great otherwise it's gonna be you know <laughs> <laughs> Might be a little tough going, but I I do want that living hat for sure. Do fiber seeds need to be watered like normal crops? They do not. That's going to actually be very nice. We don't need to worry about sprinklers. We will need to worry about scarecrows still. Greg will make a triumphant return. Why is there fiber in the fence? That's our sacred fiber. That's the sacred fiber. I just I decided it's it spoke to me in a way that none of the other fiber did. Like a Disney movie where, you know, you're deep forest thing and then the, the protagonist is like begrudgingly helping along and then they come across a sentient or sapient plant. And the whole movie is about their friendship together and the trials and tribulations they're in where they have... Oh, for, I forgot to water my crops. <laughs> That's okay. I can still get some energy here. And you know, eventually, like, uh, like there's there's probably like a hurdle where like the character is trying to convince everyone else that this fiber can actually talk and no one no one believes them no one else can hear it or something it's like a Horton hears a who situation and then even when the ends it probably ends in some climactic thing where like some guys come into the forest with a big old bulldozer and uh, they manage to stop it just in the nick of time and then nature wins again why would crows even want to eat fiber? Hey man, I don't ask the question. I don't ask the questions. I just have to deal with the re repercussions. Unfortunately, that's called schizophrenia. That's a true fact that like the author or the creator of Winnie the Pooh was like, uh, was he? Well, I don't know if he was schizophrenic or if he had some other kind of uh, mental illness. But like all the characters in Winnie the Pooh are based around different mental illnesses and that sort of thing. Or maybe the, maybe it's not the author. Maybe it's like Christopher Robin is supposed to be like a portrayal of someone who's schizophrenic. Backpack upgrade. We'll get there eventually. Let's go to the beach and get that fishing rod. We might as well get it out of the way. He has PTSD. Speed run floor 100 of the mines for fiber. What's the best floor for fiber? I want. I feel like 20 is honestly a pretty good floor for fiber. It's nice and small, compact, and you can still get a decent amount of fiber. I think floor 100 is a similar layout to uh, 
the floor 20, so that'd probably be fine too. Perfect timing. The book is based on stories his son would make up. Yeah, that sounds that sounds correct. That was made up. It was stories about his son's toys. Interesting. Okay. I always, yeah, I guess, I mean, maybe it was, it was just a weird internet rumor then. All right, we can skip this cutscene, I think. I've seen that plenty of times. Yo, look at these seagulls, though. They're so happy. They're in love. Little lovebirds. My fishing rod does not reach very far right now. I guess we're catching whatever this is, though. I didn't expect to get the hook anything that fast. I was trying to scare away the birds. Because I'm a monster like that. But we'll just take the sardine, I guess. Gold quality daffodil. Alright, let me zoom back in here. Is that 100%? I'm always very paranoid about this. It is 100%. Okay. The best floor for fiber is 25 to 29. I saw that list... I saw that on the wiki when I was, like, looking into the very minor research that I did for this run. Zero energy. You got zero energy. I can't hoe that. I could eat something. I could eat the sardine, I guess. I mean, what else am I going to do? But it's fine. Why am I even collecting this forge is the, is the better question. I guess I'm leveling up on my forge. <laughs> the sea gales. Yeah, I don't know if floor 25 to 29 is going to be the way to go when I actually get there, though, because it's such big floors. I feel like, honestly, the most efficient fiber gathering method is going to be a floor that I can, like, quickly scan and reset. You guys want to see something quirky? I think if I do like this, I'm like at zero energy, right? I think if I like, yeah, see, I'm like, I'm not exhausted, but I'm all slow now from just from punching the chest. I didn't know that punching chests used energy, but it, it clearly does. I got to get this chest back in its proper orientation, though. We'll figure that out later, I guess. Yeah, I'm like not exhausted, but I'm all slow and stuff. I didn't, I, does anyone, has anyone experienced this before? Soft exhaust? <laughs> Chloe's just a little a little tuckered out. But I think we can eat the sardine and be totally fine. Yeah, there we go. Mining fatigue? Is there a freaking guardian somewhere around here? An elder guardian? I'm starting to feel exhausted, by the way. I do need this clay, actually. Clay is going to be a very valuable resource when it comes to creating fiber seeds. Don't forget about the fenced-off fiber area next to the community center. Good call, honestly. I think we're out of energy, though, and I, I need to, like... Well, I'm... You know, I could probably go get that. It's a nice nice little spot. We might as well go get some quality fiber. If only. Hey there, Allie. Alyssa. Floor 25 is the floor you use to grind for Junimo huts. I mean, we'll look into it. We'll try out many different fiber gathering techniques. I'm not opposed to experimenting. We're going to be here for a while. So we might as well have some fun with it, right? The living hat is is the ultimate goal for sure. Beyond just like completing the community center, obviously. Oh, there's nothing even blocking it this time. Sometimes there's like a piece of wood or a rock or something there blocking that, but this time it's all fiber. It was destined to be. We're gonna be seeing so many little frogs hopping away too. I'm looking forward to that. Also beside Haley's house, that was the first place I went. Not surprising. Iridium quality fiber. Could you imagine? Can we get a hot patch, Concerned Ape, to add qual various qualities of fiber to the game? If I could get iridium quality fiber that sells for four gold, I'd be beside myself. Behind Joja. There is a little area behind Joja, isn't there? That has like fiber and stuff in it. I always forget about that spot. All right, I'm going to need to craft more chests. I'm going to probably be very boring and have a very similar chest organization system to what I had in The Price of Perfection. Like, I like having these four chests out front here. 
And let's 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 get the organizational system started right now. What the heck? Okay. This one, you know, I'm a creature of habit. This one was the mining chest previously. It'll be the mining chest again. This one's going to be, I guess, um, I'll, we'll make this like the fishing chest because it's probably not going to be that usable any that useful anyway. This one will be, I'm going to make this like a little crops chest or something. Um, and then this one, and we'll make, hold on, can I, let me just grab everything right now. This one on the side is going to be our like forage chest. Hold on, I gotta. So now I can. I should be able to like chop this. Oops. Give me the chest. Give me the chest. Give me the. Give me the chest though. Thank you. Okay. That one will be nice. Uh, we'll make it a nice sort of little green like that. And then I think we'll have one here, like we had our special chest back on on Frugal Farm, and we'll make that just our fiber chest. But I don't have enough wood for that yet. Okay, this is... Okay. Fish chest. Fish chest. That goes there. This will be, like, wood and stuff. Pick up everything else. Alright. I think we'll go ahead and put this and this in here. And I think, honestly, all this, because this is going to be... These are going to be ingredients for fiber seeds eventually. So I think we put that together in a chest, and that'll be fine. Only sell sap and fiber. Minus the sap. Will this soon become a shrub farm? Alright, we're going to bed. I need my energy. I can have a crafting bench this time? That's true. That is a, a that is a true fact. Get away from my from the blessed fiber. This will this stream be three to four hours? I'm not sure yet. I'm just kinda of playing it by ear. Probably. That would probably be a safe bet is around like like three ish hours, maybe a little more. Be gone, fiendish wood. I don't know if it's going to be worth it waiting out the days to, like, get monsters spawning on the farm, because I'm, I'm not going to be, be able to... Until I get a higher combat level. Because I think the monster spawning on the farm is tied to your combat level, both, like, the monsters that you encounter, as well as the frequency with which they spawn. But I think once I get a higher combat level, it might be worth it to, you know, farm some wilderness golems or something. But until then, I don't think it's worth, like, staying up however many extra hours I w otherwise wouldn't in order to get, like, five fiber. How long do I foresee this taking? No clue. Like, at the start of the price of perfection, I honestly have no earthly idea. I'm, I don't think it's going to take till year 111, I'll tell you that right now. So, we already got Frugal Farm beat on that in that regard. If I had been psychotic enough to, you know, commit to a perfection run where I only sell fiber, then yeah, maybe. But we're not doing that. And you can't convince me to do it. Are the mines open yet? Not until uh, the 5th. I have more time than... More time than sense to spend, so I'll be here forever. Amen. That, that literally me, literally describes me. Lemon butter pasta? That sounds so good. I'm not even going to lie. I don't think I've ever had such a thing, but I kind of want it now. Alright, I need to craft another chest. This is going to be our fiber chest. At least one of the fiber chests. The first of many, maybe. Fiber and all the records and components for fiber seeds for right now. Alright with that. good for you that you can't get perfection in this challenge. I mean, I could, you literally could get perfection while selling only fiber. I'm just not going to because that's insane and no one should do that. Look, I'm all about exclamation point optimism and, you know, seeking and achieving the impossible. But no one in their right mind needs to sit here and farm 13 million plus fiber for perfection, okay? This is, you have my blessing to not do that. Because I know there's someone out there thinking like, oh, if Argon's not going to do that, maybe I'll do it instead. Please don't. Please have more respect for yourself and your time. More respect than I do for my own, my, my own like, sanity in my time. Don't do that. <laughs> this is a PSA. 
I have to sell crops too. I guess, I mean, here's the thing. You, I could do the thing that, like, uh, Wand of Sparking did in his uh, one where he made money only via garbage cans. Where if you were going for perfection that way, you could ship everything that's not fiber at the end of the... At the end of the challenge, that way you actually don't use the money for anything. And you just get the shipping requirement out of the way. That's the way I would do it if I were doing it, but I'm not. So we don't even need to discuss it any further. What map is this? This is uh, the Wilderness Farm. All right. Well, let's go... Uh, you know what? Let's go to the forest. Let's go through this Intersap Forest. There's some fiber down there that I can collect. You watch Wand of Sparking? I ha I am subscribed. I haven't watched any of his stuff recently because he's mostly posting like Terraria stuff. And I don't want to spoil myself on Terraria in case I feel like playing that at some point in the future. But uh, I've watched a few of his things, yeah. Wand of Sparking, your next vote for the Stardew Valley Trials. That would be a fun time for sure. You're not you're not gonna trick me into saying who's in the Stardew Valley Trials, though. I am more steadfast than that. By the way, in, in case anyone who is who might be like very confused at what I just said, uh, yeah, on on his Saturday stream last week, I think Unsurpassable Z, Unsurpassable Z, sorry. Um, announced Season 2 of the Stardew Valley Trials is in production, and uh, yours truly is one of the participants. And that's all I am willing to tell you. That's all I'm allowed to tell you. Lest I invoke the wrath of the powers that be. Yo, more fiber here, though? Don't clear up all the fiber, it spreads faster to some left. Is there like a rule? Is there like a 40% rule? Like I should only clean, like I should only, like I should leave 40% of the fiber? Or is it, uh, is it less concrete than that? We know yours truly is involved, whoever that is. Rip to the content creator named yours truly. People want the lemon butter pasta recipe. Which channel should I put it in? I would probably put it in stream discussion because you're discussing it in the stream. I think that's a, that's a reasonable place to put it. You could also put it in like general or whatever. That's probably fine. You don't need to leave any. Just go for the mines. That's what I'm saying, but people are like telling me that I should leave it. Like, I don't think past this very early game, I'm going to be coming down to the Cindersap Forest to harvest its fibery goodness. A woo to you too, Mr. Weird Whale, whatever the heck sound that was. I think once I have access to the mines, it's going to be a no-brainer to just go there every single time. No hat mouse just yet, but he will arrive, don't you worry. We are PG-13. We are we are a PG thirteen stream and Discord. I like to push the limits of that, just like you know, a tad, just a little shove, every now and again. But for the most part, yeah. <laughs> Yo, those are some high quality. Oh wait, no, those are low quality spring mushroom spring spring mushrooms spring onions because the one I have is gold star quality. This is a lot of spring spring. I keep wanting to say spring mushrooms. Where's that coming from? Uh, I guess get rid of this single solitary piece of wood. We got some silver qualities in here, too. What would I get rid of for silver quality spring onions? Probably nothing, honestly. Ordinarily, the fiber, but... This is, this is a different timeline where that's such a thing is not allowed. Should you add a food channel? I don't know if it would get... I don't know if people are sharing recipes often enough to necessitate a food channel. But I suppose there's no harm in trying it out. I would leave it to your discretion. Eat the gold one. I was, I was, yeah, you, you know, you're absolutely correct. Eat the gold one. <laughs> I should, I should, I mean, it's too late. That now, now I've just eaten it for like no discernible purpose. I can go get that artifact spot that was on the beach. I'll, I remember that, and I'm close enough that I'm not going to be so up, so uh, miffed to go out of my way and get it. Old habits die hard, by the way. Alright. C 
consume the rock. It's going to be so weird to get into the habit of just, like, eating all, like, the gold quality forwards and stuff that I might find, because, like, normally you look at that and, like, oh, that's some nice extra income on the side. Eh, wrong. Get out of here with that. The fiber gods frown upon your transgressions. Little glass shards, I don't mind it. Alright. Visit Gunther at the museum. This is going to be a problem, because I'm going to get, uh... I'm gonna get money for this quest. Well, I don't. I, I'm, there's gonna be money in my journal. I don't have to collect the money. We can just leave it there forever. Is that gonna be too upsetting for people though? If I just like, oh man, it's kind of gonna hurt my own soul, honestly. If I do something like this, because I'll donate these glass shards, right? You donate them. Bada bing, bada boom. Cancel the quest. I can't cancel it now, the reward's right there, but we're, we just don't take it. We just don't take the reward and we're fine. Are you allowed to say if you're going to say Unsurpassable Zed during the trials? I might sneak one in there, but I'm, it's not going to be the norm, I'll tell you that. I may have already sneaked one in there. Now the journal thing is going to be jumping at you. Oh, it is jumping, isn't it? It's it's all jumping. It's all jumpy. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna frustrate. That's gonna annoy me too. That's gonna and there's gonna be so many people like your journal's buzzing. Bzz, bzz, bzz. You have a text on line one, so you know what. Here's what you do: collect the money. That's two hundred and fifty dollars. And you know what? Forget this starting money too. Forget forget our five hundred starting gold. We're just buying. Hold on. Uh, eat the, eat the horseradish. Eat the horseradish. And you just buy 10 Joja Cola. <laughs> Perfect. There you go. We'll just start our own little Joja Cola collection. We'll be following Evelyn's footsteps from the previous time. Might as well get this out of here too. Am I excited to collaborate with other starter YouTubers during the trials? Very much so. That's honestly some of the most uh, fun, probably the most fun part about it is being able to like, you know, talk to talk to people that I've, you know, known about and known of and just haven't had the be able, been able to reach out to. It's a nice sort of little closed ecosystem of starter creators that uh, that is fun to interact with for sure. All right, I am going to build another yet another chest. This one's just going to be, you know, like, the default chest, which is right there. That's going to go there, little spring onions foraging and all that good stuff. This is going to be our Joja Cola chest for the time being. That's going to be, like, literally it. Throw Joja in the river, but we could accrue so much Joja. Is it diet soda? Certainly not. You think Joja makes a diet brand? I mean, they probably do, but it's probably, it's, I, I would... Be surprised if it was literally any different from just the regular Joja Cola. Clear a little more debris for the time being. Could I give you a little hint at your team member? No. I will not give you any further hints. I prob I feel like I've already said too much. And I barely have said anything. I will I will occasionally mention, hey. Don't forget, I'm in the trials. It's airing on October 15th, according to Unsurpassable Zed. And then we'll move on to the next topic of conversation, because I don't want to, you know... Knowing me, I can start to... I can start to ramble on and get caught and catch myself talking about something that otherwise shouldn't be. And then we'll, uh... And then I might be in trouble, so... <laughs> I just don't want to risk it. I know myself too well. I don't want to risk that. Have a chest with the Joja collection. I don't know if we're going to have that much Joja Cola. That I'm going to be able to fill an entire chest with it. That would be a lot of Joja Cola. Hold on. It might be it might be monster spawning time almost. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. Let's just go ahead and go to bed. Saying that he's in the trials is already too much information. That is something I'm allowed to say. We have 
the people who are in the trials have uh, clearance to mention that they are in the trials, and that's uh, literally all the leeway we get, so. Which I'm totally cool with. I appreciate the secrecy, because I think it'll make for a better end product. For sure, for 100%. There is Diet Joja Cola and Shane's heart, Shane's eight heart event. Is that the one about like Joja Blue? Starting to feel at home in Stardew Valley. I very much am, Robin. This, it's a, there's a lot of grass around here, so I'm appreciating that so far already. All right, so this is this is the fiber we're leaving. I'm gonna say anything. Let's let's demarcate it, right? Here here's oh wait, I can't I can't mark it with I could mark it with like torches maybe. What if I just make a bunch of torches and then that's a that's a line? Well actually I don't know if I I, I need a line. This is gonna Alright. From here, from where this sort of cliff begins to slope upwards, downwards, anything left of that point, any fiber left of it, I will leave. Anything to the right of it, we're harvesting, okay? That's the deal I'm making with chat, because chat doesn't want me to chop all the fiber. So, there you go. Remove the wooden stone. I am I am doing exactly that right now. This is going to be our little fiber nook. Not to be confused with Tom Nook. What would be the equivalent challenge to this in Animal Crossing? I don't, ha I don't have enough Animal Crossing knowledge to, to say. But what would you sell that equates to fiber in Animal Crossing to, like, pay off your loan or whatever? Weeds? It's it's literally the same. It's just actually... does Do weeds sell for, like, one, one bell? Follow-up question. Has anyone done that? If not, dibs. Just kidding. I wouldn't want to do that again. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You think I'm gonna you think I'm gonna go collect weeds in Animal Crossing as my first experience with Animal Crossing? Well it's not my first experience, but it'll be my first like long form experience with Animal Crossing probably. Dagnal is crazy enough to do it. I recognize that name, but I don't know much about their content. Have a good one there, Meg. Thanks for dropping in. Appreciate it. You enjoy your uh, therapy session. I hope it uh, goes well for you. Therapy, low-key underrated. Even if you don't feel like you need to go to therapy, sometimes it's cool to just, like, go talk to somebody who wants to listen to you. I know not everyone can afford it, which is unfortunate. I live in Canada, so I'm fortunate enough to, you know, have that taken care of as, uh, as part of, like, our public health system, which is very nice. I haven't been to therapy in a while, though. Maybe I'll go back at some point. I should use a, use a path to mark the fiber protection zone. I thought about that, Leafy, but then I also thought, will that stop the fiber from growing across that, uh, that line? Because that's the whole goal, right? Is to have anything from this fiber zone, from this fibrous zone, turn into more fiber that I can then harvest from across that line. I don't know, can it jump the path? Is, is one path going to stop it from jumping, or is, I don't even know. Used to go to therapy, but then, but then didn't. I so feel that. <laughs> Eventually, I mean, I, I just, like, felt like I was good enough that I didn't need to, like, go anymore. But now I've come, now that I've gotten a little older, I've come to realize, you know, maybe there's still something to, to be gained from it. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and just eat the dandelions. There's, like, no reason not to right now. It can destroy the path. Paths will disrupt the fiber. I can just mark the topmost and bottommost tile. I think, I mean, I think you're right that fiber can destroy the paths, right? I almost just on instinct walked over here and chopped all this fiber. I'm not even going to lie. These instincts will need to be, uh, <laughs> will need to be curbed in time for sure. The instincts to, like, sell forage or keep, like, good quality forage. Anything like that. The lag? Are we getting buffering? 
F5 for the bufferers in chat. Let me actually take a look at my at my stream thing. I have zero dropped frames, and it's been an hour, so I mean, at least there's that. So any lag is probably on YouTube's end in that case. I'm very happy to see that at least that the that the dropped frames issue is is remedied at least on my end, from what from what information that my software and stuff has given me. I think it's fine. No buffer so far. <coughs> Oh my goodness. I was so excited that I, I coughed up a, a loogie. Not really. That, that's gross. Loogie is such a gross word. How have I never internalized that? Wait for my return on the dawn of your third year. He's going to be so upset. <laughs> when Grandpa comes down, comes back to Fibrous Farm and sees... Uh... Oh my god. I'm going to be so ashamed. He'll, he'll play it off all cool, like, as he always does. That's just Grandpa for you, but... Alright. Go ahead and put all this nonsense away. Um, probably don't need to grow any trees or anything yet. I could make some... Maybe I should be chopping some pine trees so that it can make, you know... Uh... What is it called? Field snacks? I almost called it fiber snacks. <laughs> Arus B, thank you for being a member for the four months of the Electron tier. Artist of our of the channel emotes. I forgot I had this. It's actually month four. Yeah, it's easy. T I've I've realized on YouTube that it is easy to uh, not notice that you have that notification ready ready to be said in chat. Because members, in case you're not aware, you can like send a highlighted message like that once per month. Thank you for the generosity, by the way, Arus B. In case I didn't say it. You can send that, like, one of those once per month to let me know, like, hey, I've been subscribed for another month. Or I've been a member for another month, rather. All right, a little more energy from the dandelions. I love the word dandelions, because it always just makes me think of happy lions. And who doesn't want to think of happy lions? Maybe I should try and complete the, uh... The getting start, not the getting start quest, the introductions quest here. Who do I still need to meet? Alright, Evelyn, we can go to Evelyn's house. Oh, well, Evelyn's right there, but we can still go over there and meet George, because I definitely haven't met him yet. Hey there, Poils. Well, thank you for being a member for the past three months at the Electron level. Just says, hello, chat. I can respect that. Dandelions are the best, absolutely. My problem is that it, it, the image of dandelions in my head kind of gets besmirched just a little bit. Is Alex here, or is he... Okay, yeah, we don't need to see that right now. No, not body shaming Alex, but it's just not that kind of stream. Alright, Vincent, Sam, so we gotta head over there. Pierre I haven't met yet, so that's easy. Penny, Harvey. Harvey's always a weird one to meet. Koji, oh my goodness, look at all, look at all the up the highlighted messages and stuff in chat. Thank you very much for uh, thank you very much for upgrading your membership to the Neutron level. That is very generous and, and cool of you. And Charlotte is cool, funnily enough. Thank you for being a member for two months at the Neutron level. I had no clue I could send messages like this. Thank you for letting me know. There you go. Yeah, there should just be like a little notification at the bottom of your chat window for those who might be still trying to figure it out or something. Okay. Jody, I have met. Vincent's right there. Har isn't Harvey, like, also over here? Isn't this where Harvey hangs out in the spring, like, after he's done at work? Because the doctor's office is closed. Yeah, it's closed. It literally just closed, too, which is unfortunate. Vincent is up there, which means that Vincent and Jazz are not currently in school. Or not at the museum with Penny, so where would Penny be? Is Sam in here? Is he in the kitchen? He's not. He's probably at Jojo Mart, actually. Argon goes to the bar. There's Emily. I've already met her, though. I met her at the saloon. I remember that. Does Harvey go down by the river? Is he like, uh... Is he like Kent that way? He hangs out down here somewhere? Might be shopping at Pierre's. There's Sam. Sam down by the river. Harvey goes to the bar. Does he go to the bar this early? Seems very early to go to the bar. 
there. Penny's not here. Penny could be sitting on a bench with Maru. I also need to see need to find Maru. Maybe I should go up north. There's Pam. But I think I already got Pam at the saloon the other day. Alex is probably out now. There he is. There's Maru. Okay, she finished up work. Good stuff. Penny might just be in her trailer, honestly. Is this going to be a video series? I don't know if I'm going to make this into like a video a la the Price of Perfection that I'm working on or the No Level Up Challenge. She's not here. Because there's not going to be a whole lot that goes into this challenge, right? It's going to be like me chop fiber, unga bunga. I could probably, you know, make a short video out of it, but I, it wouldn't be anything that complex, probably. How are we doing here? Still have a lot of people to meet, actually. Abigail, Harvey, Linus, Demetrius. So I need to go, like, up north. Um, Leia. Leia comes by the bar. The wizard we can't meet yet. Jazz is just Jazz. Ja I don't think Jazz comes to the bar, if I had to guess. Gotta milk the content. Honestly, most of me is just, like, enjoying the idea of doing this as a chill sort of hangout stream series for you guys. Like, we'll have progress in the background, don't you worry about that, but it'll also be just, you know, fun to fun to shoot the breeze with all of you. Penny located. Demetrius also located. Linus should not be far away. Hello, Linus. Would you like a would you like a silver quality horseradish, sir? Thank you. Linus loves forage, I know that for a fact. This series is for true fans. I'll never say something like that, but if that's the way you feel. What was the weirdest thing I ate as a child? Probably a quarter. <laughs> if I had to if I had to hazard a guess. Okay, here comes Sebastian. I knew he was he'd be out as out of here soon. Hi, I'm the new girl! Bye! <laughs> See ya. I think I probably just gave Sebastian sensory overload. That's the most human interaction he's had in the past calendar year. I was dared to eat both a dead ant and a live ant. Which one tasted better? Was there was there a distinct difference, or was it just, you know, one was, like, trying to get away from you and, like, crawl between your teeth and stuff? Will we be marrying Haley? I mean, that's a big commitment, because to marry Haley, I need, like, that's a lot of fiber to shop to upgrade the house. <laughs> All right. Is, uh, can I go? Jazz is probably in her room already, if I can even get in here. Yeah, it's closed at 6, okay. Leia is not anywhere. Uh, there's a bunch of people go to the bar on Friday, so I think we can just go on Friday and hit everyone else up that I probably need to, or at least most people up. Jazz. Abigail will be at the bar. I think Leia's at the bar on Friday. Harvey's also probably at the bar. Yeah, so that should be fine tomorrow night to do that. The Alive one had more flavor. Heck yeah. I have to go upgrade the house to cook things. Who needs to cook things? We can also we can use the cookout kit, right? Don't you get the recipe for that at like level nine foraging or something? I think I do want to make a path to bar that area off. I don't know if it's like because maybe then when we get like the message that like the spreading weeds have caused damage to your farm, we'll be, instead of being like, oh man, what the heck kind of crop got ruined this time? We'll instead we'll be like. Yo, that's so... Pog! Poggers! Poggers, that's one more piece of fiber! Alright, we'll just we'll just start with a wood path for right now, because we don't have anything more fancy than that. What about money from the mailbox? We're spending that on Joja Cola exclusively. Alright, this is the fiber... It's like the Chernobyl exclusion zone, but... The fiber exclusion zone. All right, one more piece right up here. Good stuff. All right, no chopping fiber across this uh, across this border here. 
I'm gonna say, let's make uh, let's make it official. Put a sign right there. It's gonna be kind of confusing because it's gonna be a scythe on the sign. So it's like, hey, chop this fiber. But it's actually like, no, don't chop this fiber. That makes sense. Don't become Evelyn. Yo, wilderness golem. Living hat. I think it's like a it's because it's a one in a hundred thousand chance to get the living hat from regular fiber or from weeds, chopping weeds. It's one in ten thousand from these guys. So we gotta take our chances when we get it. Yo, that's the first bot we've had in the stream in a long time. Thanks for catching that, Alyssa. Another, uh, yo. This is me. This is pictured here. Alyssa smiting the bots out of existence, and other mods also smiting bots in the, in the future. I'm sure. Colorized, 1080p, 60 FPS. What the heck is colorization? It's like, cause you see that in like from like old cartoons and shows and stuff. It's like 1964. Open parentheses. Colorized in all caps. Closed parentheses. How do you colorize something? How do you how do you take something that's black and white and add uh, and add the rainbow to it? Is there are there colorizers? Is that a job you can have? You have to colorize between the lines. All right. We'll be able to unlock both the uh, yo parsnip pipe number one. This should be level one farming. Unfortunately, I can't sell it, so we'll just save that as food, I guess. Um, number two, value Jojo Mart customers. I am a value Jojo Mart customer now. I I bought Jo I bought something from Jojo Mart for the first time in so long. All right, the mines are open, so that's probably going to be the main place to go today. We can also unlock the community center today. Let's see what our luck is like. It's neutral. That's honestly good enough for me to go to the mines. Give the picture to a kid to color it in. What the heck? Hold on. OBS. I, I had a, a brief. There's a. There's a brief. We're hitting. We're hitting a patch. Joja Mart. Joja is stealing some frames. I don't know. Oh no! Don't tell me. It's been so good for like the entirety of the stream now. Okay, it's stabilized. It might have just been like. Oh, you know what it probably is? Is like uh, it might be like a firmware update to the modem, or something. That's why I'm getting a weird little buffer patch there. But hopefully it's fine. Gifts. I mean, parsnip could be gifts. I suppose that's honestly also a good point. Getting started, a hundred gold, a hundred dollars. I mean, that's not a multiple of seventy-five. I can't collect that yet because I won't be able to spend it all on Joja Cola. Here, you know, here's the plan because I think it's only fair. Like, I could make it so like I have to spend most of the, that money on Joja Cola, or I could make it so that I have to like overspend on Joja Cola. So that I get punished for, for like, uh, getting too much money here. So I would need 150 to buy two Joja Colas. So I guess I'm going to sell 50 fiber. And we'll just go with there. I, I, could, I could sell all my fiber. You know what? We'll just leave it there for right now. And we'll see how it goes. Maybe I can get more money otherwise. I don't know. We'll play it by ear and just see how it goes. Argon, no. <laughs> Let's not talk about punishments. See, that's fair. That's fair. All right, I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna buy my time here. I'm gonna do a little little resource farming here while I wait for the because uh... it has to be like past 8 p.m. or 8 a.m. I think for need to unlock the community center. All second for big quests. Yeah, in order to in order to get the like fiber seeds recipe, we have to get a specific quest from the board on, uh, that unlocks after fall second. That is correct. First geode? I don't even have the money to open that. I need to, I need to sell 25 fiber to open a freaking geode. Are you kidding me? That's so cursed. All right, that's a good amount of stone. What do I need the stone for? I mean, it's stone buddy's business. But um, that joke went a lot better in my head. All right, put all this away. Put the fiber away. 
229 fiber, not bad. Shouldn't have bought 10 Joja Colas. That's, I mean, that's that's illegal money. That's illegal. I wasn't allowed to spend that on anything else. I didn't get it from fiber. I got that from nowhere. All right, little, little community center hype. I'm not going to watch the whole cutscene. We've all seen it at some point in our lives. But let's not forget to go check the golden scroll, right? I've got a golden scroll. The Metamucil CC run. Hello, Wickety, by the way. <laughs> Welcome. I never thought of it as the Metamucil run, but that's kind of, it's very fitting, honestly. <laughs> Everyone else dropping tired jokes about, you know, weed and touching grass. And me, myself included. You come in with that hot Metamucil take. I respect it. Yo, artifact spot. I'm thinking Lost Book. Called it. Gotta keep it regular. Hey, you know what? <laughs> it's absolutely true. See you in a minute there, Alyssa. Alright, time to go for the first mines trip. I Why am I bringing all this stuff to the mines? You know what? Just send it. We're already this close anyway. I'll probably run out of inventory space, but that's fine. I can always just throw away my axe. We don't need that. Another lost book. Don't mind if I do. First artifact spot is guaranteed a book. We got glass shards before, though. So I don't think so. I think it's pretty pretty high likelihood to be a book, but we actually got glass shards as our first one. All right, little rusty sword. Let's get her done. Get used to this site chat. Not this site specifically, but, you know, the, just the mines palette in general. We're going to be seeing a lot of this while we harvest fiber. <laughs> harvest fiber and nothing but fiber. Looking forward to it. I am also excited about the Remix Mine Rewards. I've I've only very barely experienced those. My inventory is literally already full. <laughs> Alright, monsters are a good way to get, get a staircase here. Uh, green algae, don't really care about. I probably should have, yeah. I mean, when, when I get to floor 5, maybe I'll go and clear out my inventory. <laughs> I think it's probably a good idea. Maybe my first fiber investment should be... I kind of want that crab, actually, to be honest with you. Yeet ye the topaz. Crab could be good for the crab pot bundle if we get that one as our re one of our remixed. Which I think actually you're guaranteed to get the crab pot bundle, so... Yeah, I think the backpack upgrade should be the very first uh, investment that we make. That's, that is 2,000 fiber. We're about a tenth of the way there. <laughs> Little ways to go. But we'll get there. I'm just going to get to floor 5, and then I'm going to go clear out my inventory like I should have before I even came down here in the first place. Let's not worry too much about all the loot that I might be missing out on. Have a good night, Zindane. Thanks for dropping in. Crabs. Is it true that crabs have evolved separately like six different times? I heard that the other day and I was like, what the heck? Why why are things evolving into crabs everywhere? Are crabs just the superior life form and we're all oblivious to it? Everything is crab? Yes, that's that's true. Crab <laughs> crab rave. BRB, switching to Stardew Valley, but I'm only allowed to sell crabs. Not just things from crab pots, but specifically only crabs. I don't know if that'd be better or worse than this. Probably better. <laughs> go deeper in the mine, not bad. Alright, let's go uh, deposit some stuff and then probably bring a chest to the mines. Like we did in previous, in times previous. Carsonization? There's a word for it? <laughs> For 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 the crabification of the species, carcinization. 
Where is everyone that like four separate people said the word carcinization in chat? Did I miss the, the lecture on carcinization in in high school? What the heck? <laughs> I thought I, it was such an out there concept to me. I was like, there's no way. I thought I was going to get flooded with question marks in chat. Instead, everyone's like, oh yeah, carcinization. I remember reading about that in primary school. You guys are on a different level. Alright. So for the mines, I don't need my axe, I don't need my hoe, I don't need my watering can, I don't need my scythe. I think we're in good company here. And let me grab a chest. Boop. Alright. Backward and onward and upward. Master Googlers in the chat. You know what? It's a valid point. You're a Tumblr kid? Noelle, are, how, were you in the Onceler fandom? I only know about that from Sarah Zed's video. Oh, I, thought was, I saw the artifact spot there, but then I don't have a hoe. If it makes you feel better, I have zero clue what that word means. I wonder if I could. I wonder if I could like put a word out there that I know that no one else in chat knows the definition of. I'm trying to think what like the like the most obscure word that I know would be. You're not that old, fair enough. But you know of the one slur. Aha, caught ya. All right, put all this away for right now. Actually. No, I don't need those for food. I got 15 parsnips. I'll be fine. What would be the most obscure word that I know right now? It's hard for it's hard to gauge that, right? Because how how do you know if a word is obscure or not? Like I probably have heard some obscure words. Like I would assume that if I were to come up with something like that, it would have to be some kind of uh like, scientific term, or like a medical term, or something that I've heard once in my life. And just haven't internalized enough, but it's somewhere in there. Carcinization? I can't use that one anymore! Actually, I never could use that one, I just learned that word today. Unless Chad is collectively trolling me. Your obscure word is Omegaverse, and you'll not be expanding further. Let's keep this PG-13 in here, Sarah. <laughs> don't Google that. That's a, that's a certified don't Google that moment. But I had to bring it up because I regret to inform you that I that it's, it's not obscure enough that I don't know the definition. So, <laughs> Ooh, cherry bomb. Utiny. You got me there, Wickedy. I actually don't know what Utiny means. Sounds like uh, someone staged a mutiny, but they forgot to bring their buddy M. Utiny means how nice a word sounds. Oh, I'm, I could definitely see myself using that. That's a good word. The Utiny on Paradox, though. Learn something new every day. You love to see it. Your favorite word... Your word is duck? Oh, I thought you said your favorite word is duck. And I was honestly about to say that's a very based take. Everyone, myself included, always... Like, if you get asked... If you ask people, like, what's your favorite word? They'll come out with, like, all... Like, the most obscure, fancy word that they can. Someone whose favorite word is duck? Absolutely, like, 10 out of 10 choice. That's a great word. I don't care how common it is. It's, duck is a great word. Put put the animal aside, even. Like, duck, like, ducks are great, sure. But just the word duck on its own, absolutely. It's got that great, you know... Uh sound. Uh, uh. Love the word hummingbird. Hummingbird's a great word, too. Makes you feel like a pirate, but smirt. It's this here's a mutiny. All right. Um. Do I toss anything for the hardwood? Probably just the regular wood.
Chat new prompt. Uh, favorite word, but it has to be three letters or less. My favorite word that is three letters or less might be you, not Y-O-U. That would be very cute, though. That was that was that was, that was kind of a cute joke waiting to happen. But honestly, E W E, pretty great. Air, cat, fig, Y, joy, sap. Saw that one coming, I guess. <laughs> Walked right into that one. Gar, bam, B, toy. These are some these are some top tier words. O. New? Oh yeah, that's a good one with the silent G. GNU. Muck? That's a Pokemon. Egg. Egg. I mean egg, you're gonna make a lot of friends around here if your favorite word is egg. Favorite word less than three letters long. Or three letters or less. Nay, also a good word. The fact that it's a, like a homophone with like the sound a horse makes is pretty, pretty cool in my book. Rye, poo, ebb. You guys are some word wizards. Word wizards, why do I feel like that's a game? Why do I feel that there are approximately like 17 different games on your mobile store of choice named Word Wizards or something very similar or close to it? It's, it sounds very much like a mobile game name. What do we got? It's a little Iron Dirk. That's actually so disappointing. <laughs> uh, daggers are bad in the early game, but I guess we'll take it. I'll take it over the. I'll take it over the geode, honestly. I think we're going to go ahead and pop out of here. And we'll never speak of this Iron Dirk again. More like an Iron Jerk. Alright. Bring me the leak home, and let's be on our way. Little baby sword. I love daggers, just not like this early in the game. They're so bad when they have like that little damage. You're in high school and play crosswords for fun. That's That's pretty good. I mean, that's a great way to build your vocabulary, honestly. I used to do the dictionary.com crossword of the day just about every day, but now I've gotten, like, too busy and I'm doing other things, so I don't have time to do it usually, but every so often I'll sneak a little crossword in there. Dirk is a funny word. Probably my favorite name for a dagger is Chris. K-R-I-S, like the wicked Chris in Stardew Valley. I think that's a, I think that's a good synonym for dagger. Personally. We need some light on this farm, I'm just realizing. Alright, put the crabs away. Also, deposit this. Uh, honestly, cave carrots can go in here too. How do I craft a campfire? Ten fiber! That's ten gold for a freaking campfire! I'm not made of money! Alright, I guess I can sacrifice ten fiber. This is going to be awkward to track, though, when I'm, make, when I'm like trying to figure out how much fiber I've harvested. Currently, it's 229 because I haven't sold any of it, but I'm using some to like craft stuff now. I guess I can always just go through like my crafting recipes and see, like, how many of X have I crafted? How many of Y? And then just do the math. Do I know what a himbo is? Absolutely. I've been on the internet in the past, you know. 15 years. Well, actually, I think himbo is a more modern term than that. All right. Little little fireside chat with Chloe. Nice off-center campfire. I'm not normally a fan of off-center things, but I kind of like this. It's kind of there's something soothing about it. Four is a word that has the same number of letters as the number that the word spells. Isn't it the only one that's like that, too? Because I remember there's, like, a game that you can play where it's, like, um... Like, you pick a number, like, any number you want, and then you count the number of letters in that number, and that becomes your new number, and you just keep doing that over and over again, and, and your number gets smaller and smaller over time, obviously. 
and then eventually you get every every number leads to four. I'm pretty sure that's a that's a little fact what I've learned at some point. Like like just try try right now, pick any number you want, and just uh, I mean the bigger the number and the like longer it is, the longer you're gonna be here. Seventy five stones and a thousand gold. No thank you. Yes thank you to the wizard though. Yo we get to see our what our remix bundles are. That's very exciting. All right, initiation, also pretty nice to see. Meet the wizard and forging ahead. Take all those. I'm going to take a quick hydration break for a moment here. One sec. There's Byron with the uh, with the classic example seven five four 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 no four spam in chat though please no four spam. We only spam sevens around here in chat. By the way, sevens. Can I get some sevens from my lurkers? Any lurkers in chat? Playing Stardew Valley yourself? Playing a different game? Maybe playing some Factorio? Maybe playing some Terraria? Maybe playing some uh, Hatsune Miku? Party Mix Plus, whatever that's game, whatever it's called. Hello, Morgan, Becca, Blade Laser, Radioactive Blaze, Go Goat, uh, Kanashiryu, CP Budgie, Liz, um, Dawn Time, Off On, Alex, uh, CD Man, Sleepless Insanity. Lots of lots of lurkers in here today. James, Blaze Emerald, Laura, Cassandra, Zir. Julia, Sombra, Connor, Sophia, and all the other lurkers who I might not have caught or mentioned, who I might not have seen or mentioned, but uh, you are appreciated. Lifeblood of the stream right there, all the lurkers. Making up a solid, like, 80% of the viewer base. You'll love to see it. Part of me wants to sit through this cutscene because, you know, it speaks to me as a... As as a lady, as Chloe is a lady who is one with the forest and nature, I feel like it's only fitting to sit through this cutscene, honestly. And to lead chat on a little bit longer until we see our remix bundles. This would have been a great moment to unveil like a mod where I had like changed this cutscene so that instead of all the trees floating when you go on your weird little uh, trip, it's, it's fiber instead. Unfortunately, I'm going to spoil it for you right now. I did not do that. But what if, though? Maybe I'm just leading you on right now. You're not playing a game, but you're sewing a frog coin purse. That sounds like the most adorable, like, project I've ever heard of. A frog coin purse? Thumbs up in chat if you have a coin purse. Thumbs down if no. I don't have a coin purse. I probably I feel like sometimes I would want a coin purse though. Like, Cause you get into that situation, like I just have a wallet and I get change every so often. And I'll just throw it like in the back of the wallet with like my bills and stuff, and occasionally like you'll your wallet will be rattling around in your pocket and like the coins will just fall out or any there's it's it's not a great great solution. My wallet doesn't actually have like a little side pouch with a zipper or anything either, which makes it even worse. Healthy mix of thumbs ups and thumbs downs. Frog purse, coin purse. I'm gonna assume that a frog coin purse is a coin purse with a frog motif to it, or like a frog design on it. But I'm not gonna lie to you, the first thing that jumps to my mind when I thought frog coin purse was like a little coin purse with a tiny baby frog, like poking its face out of it or something. And I love that. Your coin purse is a whale. Man, you got you got you got lots of change. Flexing out here, Wickedy. You got like a whole three dollars in change in that thing. No way. Is it a is it how big of a whale though? Is it like blue whale? Are we talking blue whale or are we talking orca? Yours has unicorns all over it. The frog should eat the coins. I don't think that's very good for the frog. Fiber, 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 fiber. Rolling in them pennies. Imagine still having pennies. 
I, I haven't thought about pennies in a long time. Canada got rid of them so long ago. All right, we can't claim that money yet because it's not an it's not an even multiple of seventy five, so we can't buy Joja Cola with it. What I will do, we're gonna check our community center bundles. We got spring foraging, including a spring onion. We should be able to complete that fairly easily there. Construction bundle, probably better than the sap bundle, honestly, or the sticky bundle. Wild medicine is a little yikes. Actually, wild medicine, you only need three of these things. That's not so bad, I guess. Fall foraging, summer, and winter foraging. But winter foraging has the holly. Yeah, okay. All right, so I think I just got to go get a spring onion, and then I can complete spring foraging. Easy as that. Might as well. Pennies are not good. I do not see the upside to pennies. Maybe it's like a cultural touchstone, but that's about it. You get the cookout kit. Wait, which one do you get the cookout kit for? The wild medicine bundle? That's actually kind of cool. A cookout kit could go a long way, honestly. You're really going to hit me with zero spring onions? No spring onion percent? I forgot. To, I totally forgot to go to the bar last night, by the way, or the saloon. To hit up all the villagers that I have yet to talk to. That's okay. There's no time limit on that. Hello, Willie. I forgot that you fish here on Saturday. My man's out here looking for the Dorado. He's going to be looking for a long time, though, because it's out of season. 9 a.m. to 6 p.m.? I'll wait. I just want to see if Jazz is around. I don't think she'd go anywhere else on Saturday. Maybe she'd go to, like, Jump Rope. What if you only did spring onion sales? That's a Shawnee Do original right there, right? That was that was part of his like video on like because he did a Shawnee did a video a while back where he's like, here's how many of each like like if you were to pick one item and commit to one item and sell only that item for the entire playthrough, here's what you'd have to how much you would have to sell to like buy out the Joja bundles or whatever or to buy out the Joja community development form. And I think Spring Onions was one of the ones that he made an example of. I don't think Fiber was, though, because it's kind of boring, since it just sells for one. It wouldn't make for very good video content. I might actually be able to hit up Harvey's here and just at least talk to him. Harvey! I broke my leg! Where the heck are you? This guy is not even... What the heck? It's a sample jar. Better not put your fingers in there. It's just, it's just an empty jar. Hold on. What's Harvey hiding around here? It's probably not a good idea to stick your hands in there. It's full of used syringes, dirty swabs, and little nozzles that Harvey stuck in people's ears. He, do, he should probably be cleaning this out like every day, right? How does he have multiple used syringes and dirty swabs and little nozzles before 10 a.m.? What's this man doing? Computer, just mess with the files real quick. Is life difficult? Do you ever have trouble staying focused? Talk to your doctor. Uh, I'm just, I lost focus. I'm not going to keep reading that. Get to work. It's Saturday. Need a copper bar for my latest, latest project. Help. That's po possibly the most cogent help wanted quest I've ever seen. Maru does need copper bars sometimes, probably, in her line of work. Sounds unsanitary. Is there not a sharps container in Pelican Town? That's a very good point, actually. Why is why is my man just drop, dropping syringes in the garbage can? Probably like lined with a single, very thin plastic bag. All right, I didn't check the luck today, but I don't I don't need luck where I'm going. I'm just going to the mines. Or the sewers? Yeah, fair. Needs a biohazard bin. He just needs, I mean, it's just not a great state of affairs for, for Pelican Town, unfortunately. We'll try out the Iron Dirk. You know what? I mean, it's here. I know it's going to be so bad, but that plus two crit chance, you know, maybe there's something to be said for it. Maybe, maybe there's a chance. Oh, fiber though. 
The first fruits of our labor. Little baby sword. In the fiber run, Chloe dates everyone. She just slowly goes more and more insane from chopping all the fiber. Look, I know I killed that bug in one hit, but bugs have one hit point, so don't get it twisted. Iron Dirk's still not very good. But you know what? I mean, maybe in certain scenarios it can be okay. What those scenarios are remains to be seen. It was all right against that Dougie, I guess, because it just sits in one place forever. Teach me how to Dougie? Is that a reference that anyone's going to get? I got a freaking yam. I remember looking for one of those for so long during the Prize of Perfection. Will we get a living hat this run? That's going to be one of the goals for sure. Ooh, small glow ring. Nice. That's a nice get early on, honestly. I do love the, the light rings. Yeah, we definitely got to get a living hat at some point during this run. It's... I mean, it's right there, right? It's so on brand with this challenge. I know Charlie Barley is going for a living hat in her ongoing series as well, like her ongoing 100 Days of Capitalism series, right? So it's, it's a race to the finish now. I might have a slight advantage in that I'm only go- What the heck is this floor, though? Look at the monsters. All right, we're going to go ahead and kill the slimes for the initiation quest, I think. So, did someone pour monster musk on me when I wasn't looking? Thankfully, at least there's a ladder right there to leave whenever I'm, whenever I'm ready to go. This is not a good floor for the Iron Dirk, I'll tell you that, though. That's a lot of slimes. That's like half the slimes I need for the quest, like, in one fell swoop here. Get me out of here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't, don't, I don't want to die to the Duggies, please. Ooh. The rare chance to kill something with the, with the special attack of the sword. Special attack, quote unquote. Okay, I'm gonna eat, I should probably eat. Argon v. Charlie, living hat. I would feel bad if I got it before her. But she's also not streaming her endeavors, so who who really knows? Alright, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead... Do I toss anything for the green algae? Honestly, it's green algae. Why would I, why would I do that? Eating seems like a good idea. Hello, Blade. Always coming in clutch with that, uh, that useful niche stardew knowledge. Thank you. I wouldn't have thought to eat if not for your sage advice. Quickly, quickly down this yam. Maybe I'll save the yam for uh for the fall crops bundle though. So, you know, get some extra combat experience here. No biggie, and let's just head on down. There's, there's actually too many monsters. This this should not be allowed. This early on, it's just not fair. Please save the yam. I think I think that's probably a wise decision. I'll eat the parsnips before the yam for sure. I do need to save at least one parsnip for the uh, spring crops bundle though. We don't know if we have the quality crops bundle yet, so that'll be interesting to see. I could get the rare crops bundle instead, which pr would probably be a lot better. Instead of having to to go for that, because seeds won't be too expensive, thanks to the 25% profit margin at the start here. You know, I should probably eat again. It's fine. We're not. I'm not gonna die. This is a deathless run for sure. You heard it here first. Yo, Atlas, Atlas Carney, thank you for the 7.99 super chat. So glad to finally catch a stream. I've been bringing the binging the price of perfection while studying. Love your streams so much. Keep it up. Thank you so much. I'm, ha I'm very happy to hear that. I hope you continue to enjoy the VODs into the future, and uh, I'm glad to have some extra live content for you to enjoy on the side. All right, initiation is done. I just got to enter the Adventurer's Guild at some point. I'll probably head out and do that, like, once I get to floor 15 here. 
just to get it out of the way. Get iron dirked. This did not work out so well. I wish daggers were better in the early game. Like I wish there I wish there was a precedent for that to be able to like make them good in the early game, but you really need enchantments and professions and stuff to make uh to make daggers any good. Say la vie, I guess. If I could get a cheeky wooden club, I honestly wouldn't mind that. Oh, there we go. Alright, gonna head out and quick quick pop into the Adventurer's Guild, no big deal. NBD, you know me, just hitting up the Adventurer's Guild. Like I was 16. Oh gosh, I just remembered the show 16. That like I used to watch that on I think it was on like Teletoon or something. Way back in the day. Does anyone remember that show? Alright. We can't claim that money, it's illegal money. I just noticed this, by the way. Just 07 ripped to that bear. That poor bear. It's got to be a fake bearskin rug. They would, they couldn't, they c you can't show that in a video game, like a real bearskin rug. There's no way. Although I don't think Marlin's the type of guy to to go fake on something like that, <laughs> or Gil for that matter. Why is the money illegal? Because we didn't, we wouldn't have gotten it from selling fiber. Is the thing. The only money I'm concerned with is is this money right here. This 14 gold sitting ready to be made in my inventory. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it to floor 20 on this one. I'm just going to be real with you. I, I don't know what the luck is because we didn't check the luck before coming here. But it doesn't feel like very good luck. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and, and dip out. good enough. I would tell you to touch grass, but the whole gameplay is touch is around touching it. It's so true. I've been a gamer for too long. I have not touched grass in in 20 years. It's time to make up for lost time. How many hours do I have in Stardew? I'm just shy of a thousand right now. Like, I'm, cl I'm closing in on a thousand. I don't know what the exact figure is, but it's got to be up there. <coughs> Ooh, pardon me. Exclamation point playtime. I guess I'll have to update exclamation point playtime, huh? Because now it can, it can reflect playtime for this challenge as opposed to the price perfection. Maybe I'll change, like, maybe I'll have, like, a command that's, like, pop playtime and, and then F playtime? Fibrous playtime? I don't even know. I'll have to mess around with Nightbot's commands. And figure out what's uh, what's the best way to go. All right. Drop off the yam. Drop off the foiba. And I think we'll just head to bed. And exclamation point FAQ. I don't know if there's going to be that much that many questions asked about this uh, this run. Honestly, the spreading weeds have caused damage to your farm. Yes, more weeds. How many, how much fiber do I get? How much fiber did I get? Yo! Chat. Genius. Absolutely genius. Now I just need to go make another wood path to fix that. <laughs> also, I'm going to go ahead and put away this uh, iron dirk. I don't feel like I need that. Give me, is it like, it might actually just be one wood, right? Yeah, one wood. The system. It's a system that works, baby. Only time I've ever seen someone be happy about that. It's the only... I think it's the only conceivable way someone could be happy about it. I also need to finish getting rid of all, like, the wood and stone that's in there. A lot of running back and forth between the house. Between the house. This is suboptimal pathing. It's hilarious that I'm hyped about that notification. We're just turning Stardew Valley on its head here. Yeah, probably not a good Mines Day if I had to if I had to say. 
little stir fry recipe though. When do we sell the mother load of fiber? I feel like I should only sell fiber when I actually like need the money. Or alternatively, I sell fiber at the end of every stream. That could be a fun, fun way to do it. Just, you know, accumulate as much fiber as I can during the stream and then sell it at the end. I'm telling you guys right now, though, you haven't seen fiber production go into overdrive yet. Once we get down to the proper levels of the mines, it's going to be just no contest. I always thought that the mutant bug layer was a good area to get fiber, and you can get, like, a decent amount, but it doesn't respawn very fast. Not as fast as I would like it to, at least. Alright, hold on. Hold on, I, I gotta get this non-fiber out of here. I am back, I have informed Charlie Barley. Oh, trust me, she's well aware of the situation. <laughs> she messaged me about it beforehand. She's like, I hope you don't get the living hat before me. Cro sobbing emoji. Something like that. And I was like, you know. That's, a, that's all I said was, you know. Actually, I don't remember what I said. I think I said, like, apologize if I get it first. Which, because I would feel bad. <laughs> How much fiber have I gotten so far? I believe somewhere in the neighborhood of 250 fiber. At a ballpark guess. Does the sword give less fiber or no? These are questions that I do not know the answer to. I was asking earlier if the golden scythe gives more fiber. I don't know if that's the case. I feel like I kind of owe it to myself to just harvest fi fiber with the scythe, though. It's literally what it's made for. I feel like it just makes sense. We're going to be here for a while. It could have been worse. We could have gone Jojo route. But I think Jojo route is just too painfully long. Who's my favorite North American Super Mario Bros. 2 character? What an oddly specific and uh, random question, but it's got to be Princess Peach every time. Or was she still called Princess Toadstool in those days? Test it out on a new farm. We can test it out on this farm. We can do like a day of gathering fiber with a sword and a day of gathering fiber with the scythe. And either way, we're still gathering fiber. And we'll just see anecdotal evidence. I mean, it would probably take more than a single day to get any kind of concrete information. I hate this rock placement, by the way. How, c how can a rock spawn there? I didn't. I thought that was illegal territory for anything to happen. I think we just leave it. Because it's kind of, like, giving me some weird X-Files vibes. That's a water rock. It's the Lonely Stone. It's my own version of the Lonely Stone down on the beach. Peach is blonde like Haley. I don't have a type, chat, okay? You can't, you can't gaslight me into this. I'm ace. That said, um... <laughs> I'm thinking about it now, and I'm like, wait, who do I play in Smash Brothers Ultimate? I play Zelda. I play a little Peach. I play a little Samus. <laughs> wait a second. Anyway, moving along from that this conversation. You can be Ace and still have a type. This is true. This is 100% true. All right. Gonna go ahead and... What else can I do here? I still need to meet everybody, right? Who have I not met yet? Jazz, Harvey, Abigail, Leia. I can probably knock out a couple of those right now. Do I like gems or minerals more in real life? I don't have enough uh, interaction with them in real life to actually say. I should get my hoe for these artifact spots just in case. I do have a distinct memory of, like, going to, like, a tourist town at one point when we were on vacation as a family. And, like, uh, there was this 
whole shop revolving around like gems and minerals and things. And I, I remember getting a geode at that shop. Like one of those like sort of kind of basic amethyst geodes. And it was just so pretty. I don't know what ever happened to that. Ooh, a little prehistoric tool. And some clay. I'm not going to be mad about that. The holy water rock. The daffodils are singing my name. Anytime you see an abundance of daffodils, you got you know what you got to do. Did I put it in my geode crusher potentially? That's just what I call my fists, geode crushers. I'm just that strong. Hi, hi Emily. Do I raise sheep in my barn? You can t let's not get our head over it's Emily, I've been here for 7 days. You think I have a barn, let alone sheep? And a loom? What are you talking about? She's rushing me into things that I'm not ready for. And I don't appreciate it. It's a nice day, isn't it? Sam, have you looked up? I mean, it, to me it is a nice day, but to the average person, if, the, if you walked up to the average person and it was like raining like this outside, and they said, oh, what a nice day. You'd probably at least look at them twice, even if you also liked rain. All right, let me go find Abigail. I was going to say, Abigail might be somewhere else in the rain. She's got that kind of mood about her, but she's still here. I've been pushing off my homework all weekend. Looks like I'm going to pull another all-nighter. Abigail, you don't actually go to school, okay? You don't need to put on this front anymore. She does, like, correspondence school, right? Like, over, over the internet. As an ace, I remember being obsessed with dragons and seeing a Tumblr post about aces loving dragons, and I think, ah, yes, it all makes sense now. My whole sexuality is based on dragons. I've never been attracted to a dragon. That said, anyone else uh, watch American Dragon Jake Long? Follow-up question. Anyone else remember Rose? I don't have a type, though. Sleep, I do not understand. That's that college student uh, lifestyle, maybe. <laughs> Leia is like one of the only people I haven't met yet, right? Leia, Harvey, and Jazz. Three characters you would never think of in the same breath. There we go. You're beginning to think that I might have a type. Oh, hey, Leia. Look, it's not my fault that that the blonde girls are always just, like, the best characters, okay? They should just stop making good characters that are blonde, and we'll be fine. I, I don't have a type. I have a type. My, my, my favorite type is uh, well-written characters. Like, I also really like Azula. Does that make... She's, she doesn't fit in that demographic, like, literally at all. Leia seen outside. I felt like I would never see her. Does Harvey come outside after... He's, I, I don't... I'm not about to hang outside Harvey's shop and wait for him to come out. That is a sad... That's a sadder existence than Clint's existence. Is standing outside of Harvey's place waiting to talk to him because he's the last villager you haven't met yet. No thanks. <laughs> I'll just take these clams and be on my way, please. Azula doesn't count because she's irresistible. Buddy, I hate to tell you this. That's rough, buddy. Everybody likes Azula? Factually, not true. I told my friends that Azula was my favorite character in Avatar The Last Airbender, and they all called me like a crazy person. Hey, Harvey. That worked out well. How to win friends. Give someone a gift. Harvey, would you like this clam? Thanks, that's very kind of you. Me when I, uh... <laughs> me when someone gives me unsalted, unbuttered popcorn. But it's free. 
How's the fiber going? Let quick fiber update for Noah here. I'm on my way out, on my way in. I love women with character development. Absolutely, Drew. 238 fiber collected so far. But don't get it twisted. That doesn't mean we're getting like 100 fiber per hour. That would be insane. We have yet to reach peak fiber collection efficiency. Oh, I have spring onions here. I thought I didn't ha I thought I like ate all my spring onions. What else do I need for the spring foraging bundle? Uh, dandelion, leek, and daffodil. So we don't need the horseradish. Daffodil, dandelion, and leek. Okay, let's just go finish that then. What about Goat Mom from Undertale? I like her as a character. I'm generally, you know, not... I'm just going to stop that sentence right there. <laughs> nah, uh, Toriel is very nice. She's a very nice character. I always feel bad when I kill her. I still kill her, though. If this run doesn't get the living hat... I mean, I'll be fuming. I'll be fuming more than anybody if we don't get the living hat throughout the entirety of this challenge. You have my word. I will not, uh... I will not end this challenge until we get the living hat. Yo, 30 spring seeds? I can sell those for... Oh, wait. <laughs> I can grow those. I could grow those, though. Alright, let's see what kind of bundles we got going on here. What kind of bundles do we got? The pantry, so spring crops, naturally. Fish farmer. Eeeh! Uh, uh. We need fish ponds. Okay, that's fine. Brewer's bundle? What the hell is this? Oh no. <laughs> Fall crops, I got the yam. Quality crops. And you're gonna hit me with the quality crops? Five quality blueberries? What on earth? Alright, we'll save up to try and do these three quality ones. I don't think I want to go for five... Well, maybe I could go for five quality parsnips. There's still time. How much do parsnip seeds cost? Spring crops. So I need to go to green bean, cauliflower, and potato anyway. Maybe it's time to, to invest in some crops. Oh, I also can check the... Uh, Fish tank here. River fish? Specialty fish. Crab pot is there, yeah. So I thought ocean fish. Lake fish, night fish. I think it's all just the same as the default one. Pop quiz chat? I asked it earlier, but this is official quiz time now. How much does a parsnip seed cost? We can't check it right now, but we'll check it tomorrow. Cause I gotta go, I'll, I'll go buy crops tomorrow. 20, 30, 20, 20, 20, 20, everyone locking in their guess at 20, 15, 60. Blueberries aren't too bad since, yeah, that's true, quality blueberries actually aren't that bad. Twenty, twenty to forty max. Everyone's saying twenty. I mean, it's a, it's a common consensus. We'll see. Uh, we'll see in the morning. Not too late to Joja, but Joja has more expensive seeds, right? So we don't worry about them. Okay, I'm gonna put the parsnips away for right now. Let's go ahead and plant these spring seeds. Just like, why not? Might as well get some extra like foraged food. Oh, just kidding. I'm starting to feel exhausted. We'll plant them tomorrow. Actually, I mean, I, I can plant some right now. I do also need to craft a, uh, our good old buddy Greg. Which does me. I need to sacrifice a little bit of fiber for Greg. 20 fiber. It's for the greater good. For the Gregor good. It's a little bit of an awkward spot, honestly, for, for Greg to stay. I think I'm going to go ahead and put him... Let's have him, like, right here. I just don't want him blocking too much of this uh, real estate here. Okay, let me put all this stuff away. 
Honestly, eat these cave carrots and let's get the rest of these, uh... Let's get the rest of these spring seeds in the ground. If he only had a brain. I haven't watched or thought about The Wizard of Oz in a very long time. Is The Wizard of Oz actually a good movie? Or is it, uh, just like a classic? Same question, but for Citizen Kane. I've heard, like, film critics talk that, like, Citizen Kane is the best movie of all time. That can't be true, right? I mean, that's a tall order right there. Yo, okay, hold on. This is, this is the living hat incoming, real quick. No living hat, but a little fiber goes a long way. Citizen Kane was boring. It's probably too it's probably too slow paced. Like the pacing's probably all off for the millennial zoomer demographic. I feel that. Citizen Kane is a product of its time. So at the time it was created, it was the best. Alright, how much money do we have here from from quests? A hundred plus a hundred? That's three hundred. That's a multiple of 75. That's four Joja Colas right there, so let's collect. We're collecting. Let me check my luck as well. Might as well. You've never seen Sis Kane? Me neither, actually. Yo, good luck day. I think we'll hit up the mines today as well. I'll hold on to the hoe for right now for artifact spot potential. This feels familiar. Uh, I also need the watering can. Good to watch it at least once. Yeah, I mean, don't judge a book by its cover. It's just, it's hard for me to, to want to watch Citizen King, because I know I probably won't like it as much as I should, based on the fact that I've been told that it's such a good movie. And as you say, it's a product of its time, so I'll, like, I don't know. It's, it's, I'm sure it's a good movie, but... I don't know, I just don't know if it can compete with uh, the likes of My Little Pony, Equestria Girls, Rainbow Rocks, is all I'm saying. Banger movie. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and take some, some wild horseradish eye for... Oh, I, I, did, I was gonna buy crops today, but I didn't sell any fiber. I can sell fiber to Robin, though, I think. Okay, let's let's go sell some fiber to Robin. We'll sell the 220 fiber here to Robin. And I was gonna go like chop trees or something, but I want to save my energy for the mines. That movie, 20 out of 10. Keep expectations neutral. Be prepared to stop and go get snacks in the middle. Is there an intermission? <laughs> Is it one of those movies? Yo, Clay, I don't mind it. The crisp air of the wilderness is all I care to know. Now be gone! That's what I expected him to say. Sound like a regular Robert Frost there, Linus. Who's my favorite My Little Pony character? It is Princess Cadence. Don't ask me why. I don't have a type. Your favorite movies are The Ghost and The Avengers. Are Ghost and The Avengers. I don't know Ghost. I've seen The Avengers exactly one time. It's a pretty good movie. I've heard of Ghost in the Shell. Is, is Ghost the prequel to Ghost in the Shell? Ghost minus the Shell. Is the Shell in Ghost in the Shell like a, a literal shell? Or is it uh, something else? Because I think that'd be really funny if it was like a ghost inside of a snail shell or something. Snail ghost. Princess B Bride slaps. That's a fair. Uh, that's a fair choice. First gold earned from fiber chat. Two hundred and twenty fiber sells for two hundred and twenty gold. Are you ready? This is actually money I can spend for the first time in forever. Two hundred and twenty fiber. There it is. Thank you, Robin. For your kind patronage.
ghost in the shell equals soul in the machine. That's kind of what, what I thought, honestly, but I wanted it to be a ghost snail so bad. Current favorite movie is Top Gun Maverick. That's the new one, right? Might have some recency bias there, but you know what? I can respect it. All right, we quickly got to buy four Joja Colas. And now we have the actual 220 fiber money. This is actual, unadulterated, pristine, pure, grassy gold. All right. Chat's prediction. Parsnip seeds cost 20 gold. Time to time to make good on that promise. How well do you know Stardew Valley, chat? They're wrong. They're five gold each. Rip. Get owned. All right. Um, is it, We're buying a bean starter. We're buying a cauliflower. We're buying a potato. This is for spring crops. And uh, what else do we buy? We just buy a bunch. I guess we just buy a bunch of parsnips, right? Because we want to go quality parsnips. 34 parsnips. Sure. That's a lot of watering, actually, now that I look at it. But if I can get the quality parsnips, then that's going to be worth it. Because my profit margin. Exactly. Lacey Lou sussed it out. We set the profit margin to 25%, so the seeds cost uh, cost 25% of what they originally would. Every everyone forgot profit margin. I can't believe I got literally everyone in chat with that. I baited you so hard. I was looking at everyone say 20, and you should have seen the you should have seen the smile that was growing on my face. I was like, they don't know, they don't know. All right, 34 spots for parsnips. Let's get it. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, counting with argon. Eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Uh, we're going to make it nice and symmetrical here, maybe. 26. Oh, wait, this is not symmetrical. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Good stuff. I should probably do use some, uh, use some sap to make some fertilizers as well. Might as well do that. We'll get plenty more sap in the future, don't worry about it. No fiber, man, that feels so wrong. Okay. Go ahead and just put all this down here. Get me some quality parsnips, hopefully. Now we just got a uh, water, and we'll be good to go. I will deposit the Joja Cola out of embarrassment for the ill-gained funds. So in other words, they cost 20, but you change it to 25%. This is, yes, this is exactly the case. It's a thing you can do. And you might be like, why doesn't everyone change it? It seems like it would be great to get seeds for 25% of their normal cost. And like, yeah, that is pretty great. Until you factor in the part where you, everything you sell also only sells for 25%. Which thankfully doesn't affect me, because 25% of one is still one. It, it just it always rounds up to at least one, I guess. So no harm, no foul. It's literally all upside here. All right, good stuff. I am almost entirely out of energy, but I'm still gonna hit up the mines because it's a decent luck day. I think I can get down another five floors probably. I would use this Joja Cola as an energy source, but it's it's bought via ill-gained funds, so I can't do that. I'm gonna go ahead and take these as food sources, and I will be on my way. What's the point of the profit margin feature? I think it's just to literally, like, it's like a challenge mode, basically. Make the game harder for yourself. It also is, uh, it kind of helps balance out multiplayer, I think. So that you're not, uh, because, like, in multiplayer, with, like, between, like, four different players, you can make so much money so fast. So if you put on the profit margin, then that can help, uh, limit that a little bit if you don't want to, like, break the game super early. I am happy that it's at least available for uh, for single player, though. 
yeah, pretty much everything with the profit margin, uh, like the profit margin only changes the price as far as I know of Pierre's seeds. Everything else that you have to pay for still costs the exact same amount. We learned this during the Price of Perfection because it was brought up like partway into the challenge as a way to save money and uh, it's one of the things that I've internalized now. Because it's one of the one of the few mistakes that we did make during that challenge, unfortunately. But I never had any delusions of making it through that entire lengthy process without making at least one or two mistakes. Technically, if played optimally, single player is better. Yeah, but we're not we're not all the Habu. Trevor Sun, are you are you Habu's alternate account? I feel like that's honestly a valid point, though, because, like, when you're playing single player, you're much more likely to play optimally than if you're just, like, goofing and gaffing around with your friends. I think that's honestly a reasonable point. Give me that fiber, please. That's no- there's no fiber? Because I didn't scythe it. Okay. Oh, I got a dwarf scroll as well. That's actually pretty nice. Alright, let's head down, though. Yo, oh, fiber city! I love floors like this. Multiplayer doesn't have time pause. You can do slash pause if you want. But I think as soon as someone moves, like, then you can't, uh, do anything, right? Or then, then, like, time starts again. That's what I should say. I got another Dwarf Scroll 1. Aren't these things supposed to be rare? Actually, Dwarf Scroll runs... Dwarf, yeah, dwarf scroll. What am I saying? Dwarf scroll one. Not really that rare. I'll take the crab over the quartz. Why? That's a great question, actually. In the first 18 days of spring, my friend and I made like 300 gold. <laughs> that honestly, I mean, that's kind of that's kind of friendship goals right there. You're just having so much fun, you don't even worry about the money that you're making. If you're playing together with, like, uh, experienced Stardew players, then maybe it'll be a different experience, but... If you're just playing with your buds, have fun with it. Do whatever you want to do. Spend all of spring just, like, you know, talking to people and playing Journey of the Prairie King or something. Got some rice shoots, but we don't really need them, so move right along. The crab pot bundle uses crab? Yeah, but I have- I already have the crab I need for that. I don't need more crabs. Although I will- I will need to make a fish pond eventually, I guess, for the fish farmer's bundle, so we can put crabs in that. That is kind of like a big oof of a bundle, by the way, for this challenge, because a fish pond- that's an extra 5,000 gold tacked on to the price of, uh, of the community center. Since there's no other way to get row or aged row from uh, other than from a fish pond, that's an extra five thousand fiber we get to chop. That's kind of <laughs> is it based? Is it not based? You be the judge. On Xbox, PlayStation, or Switch, there's no mods yet. Modding on consoles is one of the most arcane things to me. Like I have no idea how that even works. Like, do you need, like, special hardware to mod a Switch or to mod any console or whatever? I know, I, the only thing I remember is, like, on the Nintendo Wii, there was the Homebrew channel. And I don't know how you got it. It felt like one of those things that you heard about on the playground as a child, and, like, it was, like, the black market or the deep web of, uh, of Wii channels. You can get row from the traveling cart. You cannot, unfortunately. Magnet ring, honestly, we'll take it. Uh, I mean, just toss this for right now. We'll pick it up again in a second anyway. Thanks to our magnet ring. All right, floor 20. This is a potential candidate. It, may, it might not look like it, but it is a potential candidate for fiber farming. Just because it's such a small floor that you can scour it all so very quickly. Starting to feel exhausted. Honestly, it's getting kind of late. I don't know if I will go 
another five floors anyway here, so I might just head back home. It's impossible to mod a switch from a certain point on. Like, later switches, they just made unmoddable. Or, like, currently unmoddable anyway, with our current technology. Alright, um, you know what? Bring the wild horseradishes home. And I guess we just head on home now. Welcome, Zaniela. Happy to see you. 81 is good for fiber. I'll probably go through the full extent of the mines and then I'll and then we'll figure out where we want to go fiber farming. That way we just have access to all the potential floors. I think that's the smartest way to do it, personally. Try playing with your hubby and your daughter, but now you played so much and been watching speedruns, it was frustrating. <laughs> that's the thing, yeah. If you if you get if you get good enough at a game, it can no matter how good your intentions are. Playing with someone who like has no idea what they're doing and they're just kind of like bumbling around a little bit can be a little frustrating from time to time. But as long as you don't like vocalize that frustration too much, I think you're doing alright. Yo, I just thought of this. Dwarf scrolls also only sell for one gold. Dwarf scroll only community center run when? That's the most cursed challenge idea in the history of challenge ideas. Could you imagine that? You can only sell dwarf scrolls for money. <laughs> Please no. The seed has kind of been planted in my brain now, but I don't think I could ever execute on that. That would be... <laughs> I'm always out here looking for the next big challenge, you know, the next most masochistic challenge possible. And that one, you know, it just, it just kind of landed in my lap. What can I say? All right, go to sleep for the night. Argon, no, please. Spreading weeds, yes! Get some Argon hype in chat for the spreading weeds causing damage to our farm. Yo, you love to see. It's like the same spot too. My fi- it didn't give me any fiber. I didn't scythe it. What is- oh my gosh. I'm so bad. I need to- I need to get in the habit of actually using the scythe. As opposed to just the sword. I also need to get in the habit of bringing a path with me when I do that. L moment. <laughs> I mean, the hype is still there, for sure. There was there was sp some potential for fiber. We just didn't capitalize on it properly. But that's okay. Day reset? Don't tempt me. Exclamation point reset. Or resets. I don't remember if it's pluralized or not. It's a bad luck day. I mean, honestly, if it's a bad luck day, I guess I'll do a little more just, uh, like, cleaning of debris around the farm. But if it's a bad luck day, we're kind of just out here looking for fiber, so I could honestly just see myself on bad luck days being like, I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> Until I can go to the mines. Optimism 0%, not true, exclamation point optimism for, for the true, factually correct. Optimism count. Exclamation point fiberism. There was a sneaky fiber hidden right there. I had no idea there was fiber right there behind that tree. Sorry, you're on the wrong side of the fence, pal. I appreciate the effort to hide, but no one escapes Chloe's gaze. Once she got these put once she put these green overalls on, her life changed. She was never the same. Now she's Fiber Girl. <laughs> the worst superhero of all time. <laughs> Fiber Girl. Oh no. Hey chat, do you dare me? Do you dare me to chop this tree so that it falls in the in the in the ponds? Do you dare me though? Do you dare me? Oh, too late. Thanks for the dare chat.
Fiber Girl superpower superpower is telling people they need more fiber in their diet. She just throws. She just walks around with a constant supply of brand muffins. Maybe she's not the world's worst superhero. If a tree falls in the pond, will anyone hear it? Asking the true philosophical questions. We're all wondering. I need more inventory space. I need I need the backpack is what we what I really need here. Which means I need 2000 fiber. Well, only technically 1997 fiber. Let's not, you know, let's not overinflate the numbers needlessly here. But why though? Because chat dared me. Didn't you see it? Honestly, playing on this farm, on the wilderness farm here, brings back some nostalgia for me because I think this was the first farm layout I ever used in Stardew Valley. Like, on my, like, default vanilla first farm that I still have, I'm pretty sure it's the wilderness farm. We could actually even go check if we wanted to. But... Alright, good stuff. I'm not gonna worry about... Actually, you know what? Maybe I will eat some horseradishes or something here just to... Finish up clearing debris. Might as well. No, we didn't. I mean, I asked if you dare me, and no one denied it, so... It's basically the same. Show us it. I, I have done a, a tour of that farm at some point. I think that was maybe during the... Actually, I don't remember when that was. It was during the Price of Perfection at some point. I can't remember if it was part of the finale stream or not, though. If a virtual tree falls in a virtual forest and no one is there to, to render, does it still play an audio file? I have nothing more to add to this situation. That's just that's just a beautiful sentence right there. During the eternal sleep? Yeah, I, was, I couldn't remember if it was during the sleep or not. It was while we were waiting for sleep to be over. That sounds like something I would do for sure. Eat a bunch of spring onions here. Don't smell Chloe's breath today, but... Do you imagine just eating raw onions? To sustain yourself? Kind of a miserable life, to be honest with you. But Chloe makes it work. She's been through worse, that's for sure. That's, that's for darn sure. Alright, quick artifact spot. Thank you for the stone. Such a slap in the face every time you get, like, stone from an artifact spot. Just why? Don't kiss Haley. Thankfully, we're not at that point in our relationship in this timeline just yet. Onion breath. Olgas are like onions. That was the worst Shrek impression. I was actually trying to. I'm I'm so embarrassed. I can't do impersonations or impressions. I maybe of like certain people or certain characters. Here's the thing. I think that anyone who says that they can't do impressions or impersonations, you probably can do at least one. I think everyone can do one or two characters or one or two like, people, as far as their voice goes. It takes a certain, like, special skill set to be able to do a wide variety of them. And that's a skill, skill set that I do not personally possess. But I think everyone has it in their power, just like within your own natural vocal range and abilities, to do one or two people. <laughs> you thought it said bogers? Fashion show when? We don't have access to uh, to the sewing machine yet. But we'll get there. I don't even know what like fiber makes when you sew it. Or when you tailor it. I think I'll probably save the rest of these spring onions for energy elsewise. 
Actually, I think, yeah, I got a decent amount of pine cones here, so I can make some field snacks, which will be much better off, will be much better off with that than the, uh, scraps of forage that I've been subsisting off so far. Alright, sap does not go in this chest. Um, we got, gotta sort everything out here. Let me get all this. I can make 15 field snacks. I'd love to see it. All right, and we'll drop off everything else. Cool beans. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and sleep. Early bedtime for me. Gonna, gonna probably be the norm for, for a lot of this challenge, honestly. Level two mining though. Yo, staircases. <laughs> I miss, I'm, I do miss the Jade Quarry. That is one thing I definitely will miss from the, from Frugal Farm. Is not not having access to literally infinite amounts of staircases. But who knows, maybe we'll get to that point again. Probably not, if I had to guess. Used to be able to do a killer Toby Determined impression from Gravity Falls. I forgot about Toby Determined. Now that you bring him up, he's... Yeah, that's a good character. <laughs> I like that voice, too. There are some there are some tough some voices that are tougher than others, that's for sure. Like there are some iconic voices that are just very hard to emulate. I would not recommend you try and like voice, I don't know, Bender from Futurama or something as your first choice, but maybe maybe you're just built different. You still think about my impersonation of Moist Critical? What did I do? I, I did like the the thing where it's like, Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I'm waiting for. That's what it's all about. I think that was that was a that was a worse version of it. I didn't really commit to it because I haven't listened to that meme in a while. I don't know how accurate it sounds though. I don't know how accurate it sounded the first time. I still don't think I ever listened back to that clip, but Everyone said I hit it, like, spot on the first time. And I'm just too scared to even try it again. <laughs> Gotta head to a dissection lab. No worries, Atlas. No worries. Enjoy your, uh, and thank you for tuning into the stream, and enjoy your lab. Am I gonna try for fiber seeds later? Absolutely. <laughs> I think I would be insane not to. Like I said earlier in the stream, I won't be able to get uh, the living hat from Fiber Seeds. That I just don't think it's a, there's a chance to get that. So I will try and still get that from just regular fiber farming, from O Natural fiber farming. But I, if I want to do this within, you know, like, you know, the next century or so, both of in-game time and of real time, I'll probably need to resort to Fiber Seeds. If I give you $5 and also date you, which you corrected to dare you, will, you, will I sing a little tune? You don't have to give me $5. If you want me to sing a tune, then g give me the tune. I'm going to warn you right now, as we've seen in times past, there is a 99% chance I will not know the song. But if I happen to know the song, then you know what? There's a chance. There's a chance I will sing it. Not a guarantee. But you got to hedge your bets. You got to, you know... You, you miss 99% of the shots you don't take, right? Wait, no, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. How would you hit a shot that you didn't take? That doesn't make any sense. I tried to do the Wayne Gretzky quote, and I just, like, messed it up entirely. Sorry, number 99. Hamilton? Mayonnaise... Mayonnaise on an escalator. Is this a song? <laughs> or is this your, like, hobby? So you're telling me there's a chance. Please sing Cotton Eye Joe. I don't know anything about that song. I don't like I I know like uh Unsurpassable Zed danced to it not that long ago. 
I, I I know the vague like doesn't it go like where did it come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cat Najo. That's like literally the only part I know. I could just sing that part over and over again. Where do you come from? Where do you go? Where do you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Koji, thank you for the $10. Just says, Hurricane Hamilton. Oh, I don't know if I remember the lyrics to Hurricane enough to, to sing it all. I'll, gi I'll give it my best, though. <clears throat> Hold on. I need to take a hydration break before I do this. Otherwise, my voice is going to be even scratchier than it is naturally. Give me a hot second. You'll pull them up. Hold on. I'll I've done this before. I will have I'll I'll put the I'll keep playing in a second here, but I'll pull up the the lyrics for Hurricane really quick. Cuz I don't I I really do like this song. And I don't want to mess it up too bad. Hurricane lyrics Hamilton. Cuz apparently there's like 10,000 songs named Hurricane. All right, let me just keep like chopping trees or something while I do this. All right. This one's for you, uh, Koji, I think. Yeah, Koji. One second. It's been a while since I've done a song. <clears throat> oh, oh gosh, this song is longer than I thought. Wait, the, what the heck? All right. In the eye of a hurricane, there is quiet for just a moment. A yellow sky. When I was 17, a hurricane destroyed my town. I didn't drown. I couldn't seem to die. The music in game is gonna mess me up. Hold on. It's gonna throw me off, and it's it's already bad. So you know it's just gonna be worse if I. So let's just quickly. Anyway, I wrote my way out. Wrote everything down far as I could see. I wrote my way out. I looked up and the town had its eyes on me. They passed the plate around. And total strangers moved to kindness by my story. Raised enough for me to book passage on a ship that was New York bound. I wrote my way out of hell, I wrote my way to revolution, I was louder than the crack in the bell. I wrote Eliza, love letters until she fell, I wrote about the constitution and defended it well. And in the face of ignorance and resistance, I wrote financial systems into existence. And when my prayers to God were met with indifference, I picked up a pen, I wrote my own deliverance. In the eye of a hurricane there is quiet, for just a moment, the yellow sky. I was 12 when my mother died, she was holding me. We were sick and she was holding me. I couldn't seem to die. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. It gets a little twisted here. I'll write my way out. Write everything down far as I can see. History has its eyes. I'll write my way out. Overwhelm them with honesty. This is the eye of the hurricane. This is the only way I can protect my legacy. Wait for it, wait for it, wait. The Reynolds pamphlet. Bah, bah, bah. The Reynolds pamphlet. Bah, bah. All right, I'm not going to keep going, though. But have you read this? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I, see, I come back to chat and see just lots of musical notes. I do appreciate it. One day, one day you'll get the entire Hamilton musical out of me or something, but today is not that day. I do appreciate the emojis, though. Have you read this? Alexander Hamilton? Bro, guess what? Alexander Hamilton, he had a torrid affair. And he wrote it down right there. Highlights! That's about all I know. That's the only part you need to know from that song. The highlights. I was lurking and my phone fell asleep. Oof. 
Was I a theater kid? No, but I probably should have been. I was a band kid. I literally internalized nothing from band. I think I would have gotten a lot more out of theater. But I just it just never crossed my mind at the time. Like, looking back on it, I think I would have had a lot of fun with it. It just uh, was not, for some reason, on, on my mind at the time. What instrument did I play? I played the tuba. Which was funny, because I was like one of the smallest kids in that class. Like, stature-wise. And the tuba is a big freaking instrument. I'll tell you what. It's a big, heavy son of a gun. Alright, I think I'm gonna go ahead and probably just sleep for the rest of the day here. Give me another good luck day, please. I would like to go back to the mines. I need more fiber. I need fiber in my life. I'm not regular. The spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed today. Get that out of here. They have nothing to be perturbed about. Alright, put the music back on, though. Theater kids are a weaker creature than bang kids? That's a hot take. I honestly don't know. I mean, the theater kids I know, or that I knew, I feel like they were more... outgoing more confident in general than, than the band kids. The band kids are like, I don't know. Band kids are kind of built different. Why not baritone? Because I was like, you know what, go big or go home. It all harkens back to like wanting to do the hardest possible thing at all times. You guys think that I just do like challenge runs in Stardew Valley? No, I challenge run life. I look at the list of instruments that I get to pick from in like to play in my high school band class when I'm in well not even high school, it was a middle school band class in like sixth grade. I'm seeing like trumpet, nah. Trombone, boring. Clarinet, don't make me laugh. And then you see this big old honk and tuba, and I'm like, that's the one. Turns out it was not that challenging to, to actually play though, so I kinda like misjudged it in that regard. I think, like, most of the instruments in the band are much more difficult to play than the tuba. The tuba is just difficult from an, like, ergonomic standpoint. What do we got for mail here? Robin's axe? Robin's favorite lost axe? Sorry about that, Robin. Anyway. We don't need that money. <laughs> Can I still go get the axe even though I canceled the quest? Could I just, like, keep the axe? Free axe? I don't mind Don't mind if I do. As a choir kid, you can confirm the band kids are better. Completely unbiased opinion. Thank you, Wickedy. Argon just wants to make noise. It's kind of true. That's all tubas do. There was exactly one song in all of band class where the tuba had, like, a solo. It was, like, a single measure solo. It, like, didn't last long at all. And I always messed it up anyway, so <laughs> it was pretty bad. I was not the only tuba, though, so it technically wasn't a solo. There were, like, two of us. It was a, it was a duo. Argon, that's stealing. I better go do it, then. This is the mischievous Argon arc. Mischievous Argon, mischievous Chloe. We're just gonna take the axe and keep it. Hee 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 hee. That's my Shawnee do laugh. Ew, it smells. Don't talk about Krobus that way. Can we take a second to appreciate this plastic bag right here? That's some... I can't even tell, like... Like, why are both handles of that plastic bag on the same side of the bag? I'm so confused. And who built this campfire? The true lore that we may never know. Breaking news, Argon encourages crime for his young audience. If you can get away with it. Alright, no. Alright, I do not do endorse crime. Fine. You got me. <laughs> it was me? Wickedy, what were you doing camping down there? Follow-up question, why did you leave so much trash? 
I know that, that I, I kind of do like that idea that where am I headed? I'm going to get the axe. That's right. I like the idea that uh, obviously it's trying to convey with all that trash down there that it's like, you know, pollution bad. But I, I kind of like the idea that there was just like one person that had a rave of a party down on that beach and didn't clean up, clean up after themselves. And that's all that is. Is the axe not here? Because I canceled the, the quest. You know, it's probably for the best. Trash is bay. You should have been here during the Price of Perfection then. I searched almost 5,000 dang trash cans. We're not about that life anymore. You can't get fiber out of trash cans. That I know of. They are homeless. There's no homeless people in Stardew Valley. Hi, Linus. Linus isn't actually here, but you know, that would have been great a great coincidence. All right, quick stop in at Haley. We haven't talked to her in a second. Perfect timing. So I'm going to organize my clothes today. I mean, you're walking the wrong direction, girl. I hate to tell you that. Flailing with purpose, a modern approach to the art of dance. It's nice that Haley's trying to understand her sister better. Pam is borderline homeless. You can get a home for them, though, right? Like, you can build a house for, for Pam and Penny. I gotta do that at some point. That seems like it would be a nice, wholesome thing to do. I don't think I've ever done that in a, in a playthrough. All right. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's it's the it's a bad luck day, right? Yeah, it's still a bad luck day. So let's just go to sleep. I just need to I need to get down through the mines. That's my my single minded focus. Spreading weeds, yes. And the parsnips. Okay, so we need we need gold quality parsnips here. Here is the play, right? So we pick parsnips. We did this during the Prize of Perfection, if I remember right. You just gotta get one singular gold quality parsnip. This is not this does not bode well. This does not bode well at all. <laughs> okay, gold quality parsnip acquired. Now I fill up the rest of my inventory with nonsense. Literally doesn't matter. And then I just go around Oh wait, no, I need to clear the other parsnips out. <laughs> that makes sense. Alright. Now we go ahead and just try to get gold quality parsnips out of the rest of these. Galaxy brain maneuvers from courtesy of Blade. <laughs> I would search 5,000 trash cans and I would search 5,000 more. Don't make promises that you can't keep, Wickedy. I've searched the 5,000 trash cans. I would not search 5,000 more. <laughs> I mean, I could probably be tempted to search 5,000 more. But not by myself. Yo, the Egg Festival. Oh, we need a birthday present for Haley. I'm not going to be able to afford anything at the traveling cart, even if there was, like, a loved gift or something. I forgot the scythe. I'm going to take my chances. That's what I get. Welcome back, Noel. Give her a prismatic shard. Raging Phoenix, can I ask you a simple question? It is day 12 of spring year one of this of this farm. How do you expect me to have a prismatic shard? Even if I wanted to to dive into the meme and give Haley a prismatic shard, how, how would I go about this? Yo, prismatic shard percent? Is that the next hot speed run category? You heard it here first. Uh, I need more wood to make another path. I need to get in the habit of actually doing this properly. And you still have an unlocked Skull Caverns. Paint a rock. Did any of you ever do that as kids? Like, paint rocks? When I was younger, I definitely had an arts and crafts phase where I did I did some, some rock painting. Some rock painting and some clay modeling and that sort of stuff. Ooh, star drop luck. Alright, I think we gotta go. 
Gotta just go to the mines and make the most of it here, see how deep I can get. All right, field snacks should be good. Everything else, we're good. We're, we're kosher here. Let's go. We paint them and then hide them around the neighborhood. We were savvy as kids, my sister and I. We would, uh, we'd like paint rocks. We made little clay figurines with the help of our parents. I remember, and then we'd like fire them in the oven so that they'd be like, they'd solidify. I remember making all the monsters from Super Mario 64, or at least many of the monsters from Super Mario 64 out of clay. Because a lot of them were just like spheres or simple shapes. And then we set up a little stand. And instead of selling lemonade, we sold those. And how could you resist two cute red-headed children selling their homemade arts and crafts on the side of the road? I don't remember how much money we made. Probably, it probably was not that much, but, but it was very cute looking back on it. Get away from- I hate these bugs, dude. They're ruining my good star drop luck day. I need a better weapon, honestly. This is- this is what, what happens with remixed mine bundles, or remixed, remixed mine rewards, though. That you just don't get a good weapon for a while, usually. And I can't I can't even buy a good weapon because I don't have any money. <laughs> I need to go get more fiber. That's an investment, take my money. They're probably worth, you know, a good chunk of change nowadays. I didn't sign them though, so you know. Missed opportunity. Get this bug out of here. I'm looking at chat, that's my problem. So I'm slow on the slow on the swing. I'd buy the chain chomp rock. The ones I remember most fondly are the chain I did make a chain chomp uh out of clay. And I made a bully out of clay. You know, like those little spherical dudes that live in Lethal Lava Land? I made that out of the clay. And I remember being very proud of both of those. Because those two are probably the easiest to make. They're literally just like balls. If you kill enough bugs, you can get a weapon. Actually true. That's a galaxy brain move. Just keep killing bugs. How many bugs is it for the eradication goal? It's like a hundred and something. I wanted to say 25, but there's no way that's that it's that low. I think I'm thinking of Dougies with that one or something. Uh, Dwarf Squirrel 1 I do not need. I already have multiple copies at home. <laughs> I've got a first edition of Dwarf Squirrel 1. No, thank you. 150? I knew it was 100 something. This area is infested, by the way. Okay. Let's get these bugs out of here. These grubs, I should say. These are not technically bugs. These are grubs, but I think they still count for the eradication goal. Oh, no. <laughs> this is this is not going to go well. Hold on. Field snack me. I need to... I need to play this smart. I don't want to get overwhelmed here. My god. <laughs> oh, no. This did not go according to plan. Okay, hold on. It's fine. Everything's fine. Nobody panic. Everyone stay calm, okay? It's just a few bugs. It's just a few bugs. And a Dougie, I guess. Late to the party. Okay. It's We're, we're good. We're doing fine. Don't freaking die. 7 HP. <laughs> Alright, I need to eat more. More field snacks, please. Stop. Stop. Why do I still have the rusty sword on level 23? This is so bad. Yo, white algae, though, that's actually useful for the, uh... Wild medicine bundle. Not that I can't just, like, fish a bunch of that up anyway. Okay. That was a little spooky. But I think I'll be okay from here. As long as there's not too many more bugs in my future. You're probably wondering how I got here. What's that from? They're like record scratch, and like you're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. I want to say the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, but I don't know if that's accurate. Skeleton Mask? We already did the Skeleton Mask speedrun. Don't need to relive that one. It went better than expected, to be honest. 
Gravity Falls? That's not from Gravity Falls. I mean, Gravity Falls probably did it, but I don't think it's... I don't think that's the Genesis point. Just a general trope? It's such a specific thing with the record scratch and like, yup, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. There's no way that it's just like a general trope. There had to have been like an origin point. Was it from Ferris Bueller? That I could believe. That's like an old enough reference that I could probably believe that. Ferris Bueller's Day Off is a great movie, by the way. I think Sloane may have been one of my first childhood crushes. I don't have a type, by the way. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh my goodness. When did I first watch Ferris Bueller's Day Off? It was like a long time. Is, is that a movie that's like for kids? Should I have been watching that as a child? <laughs> I don't even know. It's, it strikes me like I'm trying to think of like the actual content of the movie. And I can't think of anything too objectionable. But maybe it was... I don't know. It seems like one that could have been. It's not from Gravity Falls. This is what you know it from. I got you. I got you. More bugs, please. We there has been a distinct lack of fiber farming, given the given the conceit of this challenge so far. I will say that I wish I had farmed more fiber up until this point, but we need to set a good base. There needs to be a strong foundation before the fiber can, fiber can flow. 9 HP, I should probably heal. Just a high schooler skipping school. It's a little more than that, I think, in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. It, it's a hyperbol... Hyperbol... Ugh. I almost had the word right the first time. Hyperbolic version of that. Got him. That crit for 11 damage, you'll love to see it. High school is rather. High school musical. This is not what I want. This is not what I planned. And I've just gotta say, I do not understand. Something is really, something's not really wrong. Man, I gotta watch High School Musical again. They got some banging songs in that thing. There are a lot of movies I gotta watch again. I did watch that one movie that got recommended to me by my uh, by one of my mods, Alyssa. I watched Belle, and it was very good. Highly highly recommended. It. it went places that I definitely did not expect it to go. It's a really uh, it's a really nice like wholesome story. At the end of the day, well, wholesome may not be the exact right term for it, but it is. A, I think it's a good story to experience. Clone High, Sky High. Are these Disney Channel original movies? I vaguely recognize the names. Most of the Disney Channel mo original movies that I remember are either like the big iconic ones like uh, High School Musical or the spin-off ones of popular shows like, you know, the Wizards of Waverly Place movie, the Even Stevens movie, that sort of thing. Or uh, Minutemen. Which I think is, I think that's what it was called, was Minutemen. The one where they're in the white snowsuits and they like travel through time. That one I remember. And, uh, Eddie's Million Dollar Cook-Off. Wickedy has come back with the intel. It's a common movie trope that got parried enough that no one knows the origin anymore. You remember it mostly from Ratatouille, the whole record scratch thing? Fair enough. Maybe we can be some internet historians and uh, and rediscover 
the meaning of that trope. That has to happen at some point. How wild is it that, like, the internet is so big and so full of stuff? Like, human history? That internet archaeologists are a thing that are, like, possible. Like, you can- you could be that. It might be- it might be too early to be a full-time internet archaeologist, but that's gonna be a profession in the future, for sure. I think we're seeing the start of it with, like, some YouTube channels that dive deep into obscure parts of the internet. And do, like, video essays- video essays on it and stuff. Sky High is the one known for that one video essay in being gay. <laughs> That's not a video essay I've seen. Who made it? I'm, I'm subscribed to a few video essay channels, but not all of them. I don't think you physically should subscribe to every video essay channel. You'll never have any time. Because every other day you'll just be... You'll get a four-hour video in your subscription feed that sounds too interesting to not watch. The Marxist Cars Guy. Don't think I know that one. Internet Anthropology? That, was, that sounds like, honestly, like a ton of fun. Partially because I, I grew up with the internet and it's kind of like what I know, but it's also just like... Just imagine how much is out there on the internet that's been sitting there, archived in some obscure corner that like only two people have ever seen. That could be super interesting to the masses. There's like so many abandoned web pages and unindexed web pages that you could really have a field day with something, something like that. Isn't an internet archaeologist this a wiki editor? <laughs> I mean, there's definitely overlap there. That's a that's a valid point. I'll always beat this drum that I think if internet archaeologist ever becomes like an actual official profession, it should not be called internet archaeologists. They should be called internet explorers because that's too good of a joke to pass up on. Or maybe those would be different professions. I don't think I'm going to make it much deeper here, so I'm just going to go ahead and dip out. I don't want to accidentally, you know, collapse from exhaustion in the mines and lose my three gold. That's, I mean, that's a lot of gold when, it, when you're only selling fiber. What can I say? Is there anything here that I need to claim? No. Okay. Summoning Salt kind of did that for Matt Turk. Brought, like, a spotlight onto his, uh, his thing, yeah. Matt Turk's kind of a household name in that speedrunner scene now. Isn't there a site where there's YouTube videos with zero views? I have seen... I don't remember what the site's actually called, but I believe you are correct, uh, Lacey Lou. There's a, there's a site where you can just go, and it'll serve you up a random YouTube video that has zero views at the time. You'll be, like, the first person to see that video. Which is a very cool concept, honestly. I have to imagine that most of the things you see on there are, like, not worth seeing, to be quite frank. But, that maybe there's some diamonds in the rough that you could find if you sat there for long enough. Alright. For some reason I did- oh, yo, spreading weeds, yes! For some reason I didn't think this lamp would light up at night, but it totally did. All right, spirits are in good humor today. We'll have some extra luck. I think that's another good possible mines day. But before that, let me go ahead and get some gold quality parsnips, maybe. Okay, we got just the gold qualities in our inventory here. Good stuff. All right, we got one more. I mean, that's it. That's better than nothing. Now I'll just go water everything. Then I will, you know what, bring the scythe. Let's not be a fool this time. Also bring a wooden path. Oh, this is gonna be a little awkward to, oh wait, I don't need, I don't need to water these. They're fully grown, what am I doing? We're just uh, re-harvesting them daily, so that's fine. Spreading weeds, yes, it's something, I don't know if we're ever gonna get used to it. 
the mini Krobus gives luck. I wouldn't be surprised. Welcome back, Van. What have you missed? I mean, honestly, not a whole lot. Ooh, it's Egg Festival Day. Chat, throw your guesses Throw your guesses in chat now. How many eggs do you think I can get at the Egg Festival? I haven't done the egg hunt in a little while. I might be a little rusty, but I'm still confident in my, uh, in my path. Excuse me? The spreading weeds did not, in fact, cause damage to my farm. What are you talking about? Take one of these and call me in the morning. Get out of here. 13, 12, 12, 11, 13, 17, 12, 15, 13. 13, I mean, 12, 13 seems like the most, uh... Oh, the sign died? <laughs> Did the sign die? That's so funny. I forgot I put a sign in there, but yeah, the sign got eaten alive by the weeds. They claimed it as their own. That's so funny. Seven or more? I think it's a safe bet. <laughs> Okay. I mean, it is a good luck day, so I kind of want to go mines, but I also don't want to miss the egg festival because it's, it's fun. It's not the best luck day, so I don't even feel that bad about missing it if I do. About missing it on the mines, I should say. Not about missing the egg festival. I could never. Could not be me. All right. I'm not going to be able to buy very, very many strawberry seeds, I will say that. <laughs> My funds are a little low. But that's okay. Alright, let's get this straw hat. Or die trying. Quickly gotta talk to everybody, just get some extra friendship points, you know me. For the longest time, I didn't actually think you could talk to Pierre at this festival outside of, uh, like, talking to him at his at his stall there. But you totally can. I saw it in a video one time. I don't remember, like, whose video it was. But you can absolutely just, like, walk around over here. It's a bit of a long trek, but you can do it. Gotta destroy Abigail's confidence. Absolutely true. How'd you get back here? He's so mad! Don't touch anything. Give me those strawberry seeds. Gimme, gimme. All right. What even is this on? Is this is a cash register and some shirts and a tip jar maybe? You know what? That kind of checks out. Have we sung Right Hand Man? <laughs> uh, I don't think I have. I don't think I know the lyrics well enough to sing that one. Quick conversationalist. Don't mind if I do. You saw Hamilton in your city? Was it with like the actual like cast of like the original cast, like Lin, -Man Lin Manuel Miranda and stuff, or was it a different cast? Either way, that's I'm like jealous. I have not seen Hamilton in person, unfortunately. I've seen it on Disney Plus, and that's about the closest I'm probably ever gonna get. It was very good. Happy to hear it. Talking to Pierre at the Egg Festival is a recent change. He used to be inaccessible. How recent is that change? My real question. Alright. I think that's everybody. Let's, let's time. It's time. Do you think everyone's ready for the egg hunt? Let's do it. I'm so ready. I'm going to put all these 13s and 12s to shame. You might think 13 or 12 is a good store. We don't, we don't, or a good score. We don't stop short of 16 eggs. We're going 16 eggs. Believe it, mark it, wax stamp it. It's got my seal of approval. Here we go. 16 eggs or bust. I got to focus though. That's not focusing. Good egg, good. That was that was good egg right there. Good egging. Good. That's bad. That's bad pathing. Okay. I might have to. I might have to refactor my guess to 15 eggs. 15 eggs might seem more plausible here, but I can still beat the 13. I can still beat a 13 easy. Oh, 
We're at 10. Not bad. A little behind on my route there. I'm usually more ahead of Jazz than that. 13. There's a chance. There's a chance at 16. There's a chance at 16. Yo! Not even close. <laughs> 15, though. You know what? 15 will take it. Absolutely fine by me. Look at all these eggs. Now, if only I could get you kids to pick up litter this efficiently, we'd have the cleanest town this side of the Gem Sea. Chuckle, chuckle, chuckle. You ne I mean, you always say that, Lewis, and then you just, like, never... It, it has to fall to Linus to enact, like, the community cleanup quest, and you never, like... I don't know, you never incentivize it. It's your own fault, dude. Anyway, that's a straw hat. You were 12 off? Did you think I was going to get 27 eggs? How bold of you. There you go. Ooh, that's that's a cute fit right there. Rate the fit 0 to 100. That must have boosted it by at least 10 points, whatever your score was. All right. One thousand, a hundred and one. <laughs> Nine hundred and ninety-nine, a hundred and twenty, a hundred. You love to see it. You love to see peak fashion, right? Forty-five point seven eight, Pigeon Incorporated. Can I ask you a question? Why? That's it, is why. Ooh. Little forage. Don't mind if I do. We got some good gifts for Haley in the form of some daffodils, some some good horseradishes as well for food. I'll take it. I'll take it to the bank and we'll not deposit it because we can't get any money from these, but it's the thought that counts. Alright, let's get the gold quality parsnips and sort that situation out. No quality parsnips today, I'm afraid, but there is a potato that's ready to be harvested, I see. I see a little silhouette of a potato. Scaramouche, Scaramouche. Alright, that's community center fodder right there. Birthday? It is Haley's birthday, you know what? Gold, gold star daffodil, who said it? Jay Nuggets? Laisha? Who was saying it? You're the only two I see. Thank you for the reminder. I almost forgot Haley's birthday. I never would have forgiven myself. I was so enamored by just the sheer volume of things to pick. Okay, I don't need the scythe. I will go to the mines. It's, it's only neutral luck, so that's not great. But I can probably still get five floors and then stop in at Haley's for uh, for a little birthday surprise. Can you do the Fandango? There was a uh, there was like a Twitter account I saw. This would have been like several years ago by now. That like every day they posted one tweet. And the first word of each of those tweets was like, that it was the lyrics to Bohemian Rhapsody. So when you like looked across like several months of their tweets, the very first word of each one would like spell out the lyrics to the entire song. It was very cool. I've seen things done like that before on the internet, and it's always it always kind of makes me feel like humbled and wholesome. It's like, man, I wish I could do something that uh, <laughs> that long term and complex. Well, it's not really complex, I guess. It does make you wonder how do, how the heck do you naturally fit the word Scaramouche twice back to back in like two two tweets without anyone getting suspicious? And the, and the answer is probably that you don't. <laughs> I don't know. It was a very cool experiment, not I, nonetheless though. Go gift Haley quick, please. I will once I hit floor 30. Which could take a little while, but... Unfortunately, some things right, in the, right now are just more important than Haley's birthday. Don't tell her I said that, though. Exclamation point Haley. Ooh, nice freebie staircase. 
I'll take it. Any fiber over here? A little fiber optic cable. I was looking at chat and I, and I looked back and I saw this floor is infested. And I've never felt more defeated in my entire life. I was like, man, I'm gonna get to floor 30 so fast. And then you look and see that this floor is infested. I look down, I see I'm holding a rusty sword. And I cry myself to sleep. Sorry, sorry, Van. It looks like we're gonna be here a little while longer. It's strange the places life can take you, quote Haley. I mean, it's very true. It's very apt right now, honestly. Who would have thought? I never would have thought this time, like last year, that I would be uh, doing this. <laughs> Not only chopping the fiber, but also just, you know, streaming in general in a, at a consistent rate for all y'all lovely folks. It's a nice place to be. That was some good bug carnage right there. Almost have to bump up the PG-13 rating for the sheer amount of bloodshed that, that, that was seen on screen right there. And immediately after that nice, you know, heartwarming quote about the places life can take you, Haley hits you with everything is dying. Technically not wrong. But, you know, you know we don't have to go there. <laughs> we don't have to go there, Haley. Bug shed? It was right there. That, that was absolutely a pun I should have thought of. Ooh, amethyst, though. Uh, I will take that over the rice chute, for sure. Sixteen mining XP. Just seeing that number, Karita, sixteen mining XP for the Amethyst node, that actually, like, triggered a PTSD-like response in me. I was like, oh my god, I forgot about that. <laughs> That mistake I made in the no-level-up challenge. Mining the Amethyst node. How stupid was I? I just had, I mean, I wasn't stupid. I just hadn't done my research. Is what it really boils down to. I also, you know, speaking of being stupid, I did. I brought a single field snack into the mines today. Not my smartest move, but we'll make it work. I need to, to make it work, I need to start, start by being able to kill monsters efficiently and not look at chat. Can I sing happy birthday to Haley? No, I can't, unfortunately. Happy birthday is severely copyrighted. Even if I sang the worst possible rendition of happy birthday, there was a staircase over there, by the way, but I'm going to go ahead and check for resources real quick before I head down. Even if I sang the worst possible version of Happy Birthday, there's a chance I think that the that Google Deep Mind would catch it. Alright, I'm out of here. Juicy bug steak? There is always that. <laughs> there is always that. Yeah, the Happy Birthday song is like notoriously litigious. I don't know, like, who owns the rights to it, but that thing gets slammed hard, right? Can I make up a new happy birthday song? Happy, happy birthday, I made you out of clay. Wait, that's the dreidel song. Yo, I forgot my gift for Haley. Hold on. It's up in the chest. One second. I didn't mean to bait you. Probably Disney, they own everything. <laughs> At this point, yeah, there's not much that they don't own. They probably own at least like 50% of the world's everything. A while back I said I was making a video with Charlie Barley, is that still in the works or no? Uh, I mean, I still have the footage and stuff for it, but I honestly, when I was in the editing room, I was like, you know what, this is not my style of video. 
it was it was fun. It was fun to do the thing I did with Charlie, and I still still might use it in the future, but uh, it's not something I'm actively working on it right now, unfortunately. I just wasn't happy with how it was turning out. It was like a different editing style than I'm used to, and I think I need to, you know... Happy birthday, Haley. It is indeed your birthday. Yo, two hearts with Haley? Can we go get the two heart event really quick? Probably. But don't worry, there will be more content with Charlie in the future, I'm sure. She and I are buds. We, we did the Jeopardy thing, so... And she she did win that, so she'll have to be the, the returning champ at some point when we do our next Jeopardy. In 2015, the, ha the copyright on Happy Birthday was declared invalid. Alright, Haley's not home. I should have guessed that we couldn't get the ha the, the, the heart event here. Congrats, Blade. Yeah, that's right. Congrats, Blade. <laughs> we definitely need some kind of commander emotes around about congrats, Blade. Wickedy versus Charlie. J Nuggets, are you looking in my... Did you hack into my notes? I don't know when the next Jeopardy is going to be for the record, but there will be another one for sure. It was too fun not to do it again. Doesn't mean that they won't still copyright strike it, though. Yeah, they just rely on you not, like... Fighting back. That's what most copyright holders do. Alright, so floors 25 to 30 are rumored to be very good for fiber. Is this our first fiber farming segment? Could it be? Like, this feels like such a big floor, because I have to, like, head over here and check. Or can fiber only spawn in this starting area? Let's do a little testing. A little testeroo. Got some more fiber there. I'll take it. I'm not going to worry so much about the, the monsters. Maybe I should so I can get, like, the bug kills. That's the wrong floor. What was the video about? I don't want to say it because there's still a chance I could make it into something. Why is the obsidian sword oversized in the inventory? Asking the real questions. Maybe this is the play for fiber, honestly. Because, like, nothing can spawn on this little cobblestone area here, I'm pretty sure. Oops, oh my gosh, I'm so bad. And then, over here, I don't know if fiber can actually spawn over in this area. I'll go after these grubs, because there's, like, nothing else around that really is going to phase me. It's 25 to 29. But, like, I feel like it's going to be more efficient to just repeat 25 over and over again, as opposed to... Like, trying to find the staircase down to 26, 27, 28, 20, and 29. I feel like there's an ancient seed, by the way. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> we'll take that. I mean, those are pretty Those are pretty common from bugs, I'm pretty sure. Well, not common, I would say, but more common than not. 81 is still your fave, but 25 is a, is a good early one. I feel like until I get something better than a rusty freaking sword <laughs> to, to combat these enemies with, this might be the way to go. Maybe we just build up enough money or kill enough uh, bugs to get a better weapon here. And then we can progress further down into the mines. Ouch, my buffering. The buffering? The seed killed the stream. Are we back? There was a big old a big old buffer patch there, but I have paused. Well, I'm going to get on the phone real quick with my internet service provider. <laughs> Joja? Hello Joja Mart. 
Yes, is this the Joja CEO? Yeah, I'm calling because uh, I recently... You recently sent out, a, like, a technician to fix some internet issues I was having. Um, like, you replaced my modem, and I, I really appreciate that. But I don't know if that... Like, my internet... It, it didn't used to be called JojaNet 2.0. And I'm wondering if you have an explanation for that. They hung up. Joe just stealing the frames. YouTube's still telling me that it's like, uh, that it's like poor, like poor connection and bad quality and everything sucks. So hopefully it's not too bad, but anyway, we did get an ancient seed. I don't know if anyone saw that. 81 is super good for fiber. We'll just have to get deep then. 25 is working out okay for right now. I do think, honestly, just getting a better weapon so that I can progress a little further. Like, going, like, all the way to floor 40 with the rusty sword just feels wrong. <laughs> if I can get at least the insect head, I'll be a happy camper. They didn't put me on hold. They just put me, they put me on indefinite hold. I don't know if any of you guys have experienced this, but every so often at uh, work, at like my day job where I work, I'll get a call and I'll answer it and be like, yada yada, standard corporate uh, phone greeting, how can I help you? And on the other end, it'll be, so it'll be like hello, and I'll be like hello, and then it'll be and then it'll be like hi, and it'll be an automated like YouTube or not YouTube but Google AI that sounds like just a normal person, but they'll tell me that they're an AI, so I know they're an AI, and they're like, I just need to get your hours if you changed them recently. Can you tell me what hours you're open between like Monday and Sunday? And I'm like, what the heck? How is AI this advanced? I don't why in in my podunk little neck of the woods, we're getting these weird, deep Skynet phone calls. I'm scared. Someone, come pick me up. A bot? <laughs> I mean, it is technically literally a bot, but it's a very advanced bot. It's asking specifically in a human-like voice for my hours. And it freaks me out every single time. You hate picking up the phone with customer service voice? I've grown used to it. It's just kind of a natural thing now when I'm at work. I don't even think about what I'm saying half the time when I when I do like the standard introduction. I just spout it out and hope that it came out like okay. Bots are taking over. Very true. We're reaching the singularity sooner rather than later, apparently. Have a good night there, Van. Stream probably won't be going that much longer anyway, so you don't have to worry about it. In fact, I might actually, because my throat's getting a little a little dusty. I might call it here, honestly, instead of going like the full four hours. I do often like to end on a, an hour mark, but I'm feeling like this is a good stopping point. Next time, hopefully, we'll be able to get like deeper in the mines, get down to the the 80 floors and actually find some good far fiber farming opportunities. But I think this has been a good start, honestly. We've collected a grand total of... How much, how much fiber do we have on hand right now? 113 fiber, plus we had like 220 earlier. And I made some into, into a scarecrow and a, and a campfire. You know, honestly, I don't know how much fiber that is. I'll do the math in the in the interim, but that's actually kind of not a lot of fiber, is it? <laughs> Off to a slow start, but I don't think anyone else thought that this would go that differently. I think I don't think anyone else was expecting me to be done with the community center in the first three and a half hours of this challenge. But we did hit level four foraging. Honestly, that's pretty. That's kind of a lot. <laughs> Woo, money. 
I think that's going to be it for now, though. Total earnings, 770 gold. And most of that is not fiber. Most of that's just from... That's, that's illegal money that we spent on Joja Cola. Alright, y'all. I think I'm going to get out of here. I got some other stuff to work on and some, uh... Just some other things to do. So I will see you all on Friday, where we will continue with our journey on Fibrous Farm and make some more progress, probably. I did a decent amount today, but uh, I think more fiber? Hear me out. I think getting more fiber is probably the play next stream. I, I might be crazy. I might be crazy just like finding a better way to get more fiber might be in the cards next stream. I don't know if that's the way forward here or not. There are many different ways we could go about it on Fibrous Farm, but that's what I'm thinking for next, next time. So it'll be on Friday at uh, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Same, well, not same time, but same place <laughs> in just a couple days here. I will talk to you all then. I hope that you are uh, having a great day and will continue to have a great day or a great evening or wherever you happen to be. Until next time, though, I'll give, leave you with the requisite fan art compilation. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and have a great night. Bye-bye.